Hello, all you beautiful people, and welcome to the entire playthrough of the Trailblazer Reloaded League. If you end up enjoying today's episode, think about hitting that like button to support the channel, hitting that subscribe button, or turning on that bell notification icon on. Without further ado, let's get into this beautiful, beautiful series. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I actually found the world with the least amount of people. I am so incredibly excited. Let's just go ahead and make our character really quickly. I have an entire list breakdown of everything that I want to be doing. That was one of the tasks there that I needed to get done. I just want to explore around a little bit. I don't really care for all this because I've played in the previous leagues. Oh, I have to unlock this. Okay. Oh, I love the animation. That looks amazing. Go over to Relics, and this is what I wanted to start with. After a bunch of consideration, I am going to be going with the Trickster Relic. I don't really enjoy Hunter and Agility that much, and this really, really makes it so that I don't have to train those skills. So we're going to go with that bad boy, and it makes the most sense for the areas that I want to be picking. And the tutorial has ended. I'm just going to go ahead and wear these. We got the Unlimited Run Energy. I... Oh, complete the least tutorials, also a task. Beautiful. I'm going to look over my list, and then we're going to get started on some tasks. And to be honest, I should be able to unlock the first area and get up to tier 3 based off of what I'm seeing so far. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think it was going to work like this. It's actually insane. You click once, and it just continues to pickpocket until you have the maximum amount of coin pouches. That is absolutely nuts. I thought it was literally just going to be every other click. This is insane. Oh my god, I love this. We, are, we already have gotten uh, six tasks completed. The couple tasks that I want to knock out first are some thieving tasks. So let's just go ahead and get this done. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I love League so much. We finally hit the max coin pouch. What level did we even get to? 17. Oh, I can't believe it. That's actually nuts. We're going to open these because it's going to be a task. There we go. I am now going to go pickpocket some hand members. Oh, I just got 30 agility experience. I forgot we started at level 10. I don't know why I was doing the calculations at 1 whenever I was going over everything. But I am very excited. Oh, wow. It triggers really quickly. Absolutely beautiful. Another task completed, burning some normal logs. I did end up getting it to easy clues. I'm going to wait a little bit to do those until we get some levels. But I do want to be able to burn some oak logs, as that is a task. Oh my god, I was not even paying attention. I went to light my logs, and I had five in my inventory, and I lit them, and like all five came up at once, and I was like, oh my god, what just happened? And then I remember, the trickster relic lights nine logs at once. I did not realize that's how it was going to work. I don't know how else I thought it was going to work. Oh, I love League so much, I gotta tell you. I do want to note that you all should be doing some sort of random events because there are some tasks associated with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them at the beginning of the account. It honestly shouldn't take you too long to get any. I don't think it's this one, but I know there is one to equip a frog mask. And we just reached 100 total level. I'm going to finish this quest and I'm going to get 15 fire making because the trees over here are not being camped, which is super nice. And we just milked another cow. Or 15 wood. I'm going to get 15 wood cutting. I already have 15 fire making. But I need it to chop down some oak logs. Turning in Cook's assistant. We already have a, a 20 tasks completed and 200 task points. Absolutely love it. I'm so glad I made this list. Not just because I'm doing a series this time. But because it really is going to help me get my footing straight. And I am kind of glad they only released the information for tasks in the general areas at the beginning because it didn't feel too overwhelming. So I do really enjoy that. All right, finishing <laughs> finishing up the sheep shear quest here. I already went ahead and did it. We are sitting at, that should be at least, yeah, almost 10 crafting. We're at 27 tasks until a new area and 170 points until a new relic. Alrighty, I'm going to be completing the last task here in order to unlock our second relic. There it is. We have unlocked enough points. Let's go ahead and look at the relics here. Now, we can do the Globetrotter, but I think Fairy's Flight is actually going to be better since it has included the Tool Leprechaun. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick that. We can just get the Teleport Jewelry, 
Oh, okay. Well, I have to be at a bank. Well, I'll go ahead and unlock it once we are at a bank, and I will show you guys. All right, we are at the bank now. Let's go ahead and unrock the fairy's flight relic. Absolutely beautiful. So apparently this can be wielded in the offhand, which is pretty neat. Or at how many points are we at? 670 into our next relic. Not too bad. And we're 13 away from the area. I will be going Karend first. I figured if it was good enough to have its own leagues at the very beginning, it's definitely going to be good enough to take this league. I'm going to do some more tasks, and hopefully we will be tier 3 within an hour. Well, I didn't think about this application when I took the trickster relic. This is actually insane. So master farmers don't give coin pouches, so it's just a one-click pickpocket forever until your inventory is done or you get a level up message. That is actually kind of insane. We are sitting at 590 points so far in 11 relics. I'm here to try and get the Ranar seeds. It is a 40 point task. I have a feeling I'm also going to hit 50 thieving while doing this, so that'll be 80 points total. Okay, so I did forget they actually changed the rate that you can get uh, for Ranars. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. That's 80 points earned. We have not gotten one yet, and according to Wiki, it's like 1 in 3,200 at level 1 farming. So I'm going to go do some other tasks, and I will try and get this later. We just finished the museum here, so when it's 8,000 experience in slayer and hunter love to see that all the way up to 2500 get those ridiculously dumb early levels out of the way and we've reached 280 total level but we just got 250 for a league task we're at seven away from our next area and 450 away from the next relic well, i was doing some work and i said you know what i will just afk some thieving since i 100 percent can with this relic that is another task down worth 80 points I wanted some cash to buy some runes. I'm going to buy a fire staff because it is a task to equip one. I'm going to finish this quest and then I'm going to go buy some nanas from charters to do another medium 40 point task of filling the banana crate over on Karamja. With this task being complete, we can unlock a new area. Absolutely love to see it. This is another 40 point task. We are really close. I think I definitely want to try and get tier three for relics today. Let's go ahead and look at the area. I am going to go with Karend. I mean, I think this is pretty no-brainer. There's a lot of absolutely amazing things that you can get here. And I really want those dragon knives. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this area. And I do love Winter Tot, so absolutely love to see it. Let's see how many more tasks I need to complete to unlock the next area. I'm guessing another 60, 80. I need to complete 80 more tasks. That should be fine. Another 40 point task being completed here. Honestly, kind of shocked it's a 40 point task. Kind of assumed it would just be a 10 point task. All right, hot tip for you all. If you go into the settings, you can turn off the uh, message interrupt levels. I just hit 40 on one cutting and on the service that might not seem like an important level, but I did make my way over to tree sprites or tree spirits just to uh, try to get a rune axe. I ended up getting it on KC4 is the only axe that I got, and there are a good amount of tasks for wood cutting. I am 40 points away from my next relic. Using a rune axe to cut a log is going to get me there, and I am very excited to take the Banker's Note relic. Alrighty, there we are. Tier 3 relic unlocked. We all know what I'm going. It's the Banker's Note. I really do think it is probably the best one <laughs> I have seen. Uh, skilling wise I and mean, this just has so many applications so let's go ahead and I just there's no thought here 100% taking this and then we've got the banker's note we also as a passive get the crystal of memories so that is gonna be really nice any fish could be the last one there it is that's 50 salmon down I did go ahead and burn a hundred willow logs and make a willow short bow you we are done over here now. I'm going to continue AFKing. I am almost done editing the first episode, so I want to make sure I can get that out today. I'm just waiting on one more lobster here, and we will complete another medium task for catching 100. These tasks were really nice for me to do while I was editing, so very thankful for that. And there we are, catch 100 lobs. Now I'm going to go do something else now that I'm done editing. And I'm ready to bust out some more points. We are sitting at 1,400 total points. And I need 59 more tasks until I can lock the next area. I just want to say this is the power of the note relic. I just can bring everything. I don't have to worry about banking. It's super, super easy. Super, super convenient. This is 
So nice. I'm getting the cooking level so I can get into the cooking guild. There's a task for cooking 20 red berry pies and just entering the guild, so that's an easy 80 points for me. I want to get those out of the way. There's also a task for cooking 100 pies, and to be honest, I'll probably do that while we're in there as well. It's another 40 point task. I'm going to be honest. The chef hat took a lot longer than what I wanted to. So long, in fact, that we're able to equip this mithril sword for some points and this adamant sword for some points. So that should be 50 points right there. I want to enter the chef skill. That's going to be another 40 points. And then I'm going to cook some pies because that's also some tasks this league as well. I honestly had no idea that you could just keep putting grain into the hopper and grinding it up top without having to come down and collect it. I don't know if that's just like a league's thing or what. For those of you wondering why I'm doing this, there is a task to make 100 pies and there's also a task to make 20 red berry pies. So they're both worth 40 points each, might as well do them. But there we are with 20 red berry pies cooked. I'm going to continue, I've got everything good to go. And that'll be another 40 points for 100 pies. Oh, all right. Well, uh, cooking 100 pies was actually 80 points and not 40. So that was a really nice point task for us. We're at 330 away from the next relic. I definitely will hit that by the end of the day. I don't think I will get the next area, though, because it's 52. Unless I start really grinding some easy tasks. I'm going to finally go get something to eat for today. <laughs> so I need to recharge. Oh, there we are with Vampire Slayer being done. That is an easy task. I'm very interested to see how much experience we actually got there. All the way up to 43 attack. I love to see it. I can now equip a rune weapon, which I will go by because I'm pretty sure that is a task. I'm going to be doing two tasks here. We're going to be equipping this black plate body for 10 points. Well, that didn't take too long. Uncut Jade. 40 point medium task. There we go. Now, I've never done anything for the old man before, but that is 40 points. He wanted 15 cowhide, and I also needed 25 bones for Demon Slayer, so I figured, you know what? Two birds and one stone. Here's another 40-point task. Demon Slayer has been completed. Love to see it. I killed some wizards. This should be a 40-point task. There we go. Absolutely love it. Hey, there we are, 50 iron ore completed. I just unlocked tier four. Oh, Archer's Embrace, I mean, that's what I'm going. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm 34 points away from my next area in 1,970 points until my next relic. I'm going to continue mining because I do have a rune pick, and that is a task to mine ore with it. Alright, so I was on my laptop hanging out with the wife, getting some tasks done. We are all the way up to 12 away from the next area in 1500 until the next relic. I went ahead and did some Slayer tasks, got that out of the way. I have the range relic. We are all the way up to 42 range. I love to see that. We're at 1821 total level now really starting to get up there everywhere and then i also got the task where i killed three chickens within six seconds i'm heading over to wizards to try and get a water talisman now i did not even realize i was one task away from claiming bronze rank of this league i would say we're doing pretty well i'm gonna go craft 200 runes that is a task and it's worth 40 points all right, now for all my only chess fans, I am sorry to disappoint you that I did not have a casket opening in the first one, but we will have a casket opening in the second. I'm going to be doing all of these clues. I was thinking about holding them until I got tier five, but I do really want to get this area unlocked. So let's go ahead and open it. We did not. <laughs> Oof. Alrighty, this one should be a task. I was unsure if the beginner one was. Let's go ahead and open it. It was a task. I'm trying to get a unique because I think it's worth another 10 or 40 points. Hey, there we go. <laughs> we got a highway mask, a Guthix page 2, and a green elegant blouse. What was that? Five collection log slots. All right. Oh, I can unlock a new area as well. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I am going to be going to Ronwin later on, but for now, I am going to be going Kandarin. There's just a lot here for thieving. I absolutely love it. And there's just a lot here in general. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this area. 
And then the last one we will be unlocking is Taronwin. How many tasks will I need to complete in order to unlock it? Let's see, 100, wow, 160, okay. Seems good, but I can definitely do that. All right, we've got three beginners. I figured I'd just go ahead and do all of them. Let's see if we can get any uniques from any of these. Oh my gosh, a monk robe, a T-top, and a trimmed amulet. That is a task to wield this, so I'm gonna go ahead and wield it. Absolutely beautiful, that is a 40 point task. Let's go ahead and open this one. Nothing exciting there, and the last one here. <laughs> eight iron arrows well you know what that's all right we did get two tasks done by doing that Alrighty, we're gonna get to watch all of these unfermented wines we're gonna get a pretty big significant jump here for cooking there's a hundred <laughs> oh that's a lot a nice and i honestly might consider buying 99 cooking from here it's gonna be pretty quick i believe Alrighty, I need some chill downtime to hang out with the wife, so I'm going to be doing this. I wanted to let you guys know that currently this is 3.6 mil an hour, and I'm not on tier 5 yet, so I am uh, very excited to see how many points I can get while just AFKing this. Went ahead and looked at the thieving task, I just stole a gem for 80, that is nice. I need to get a chocolate cake from here, and then I'll also be thieving some silk for three quick tasks, and then pickpocketing the Artie Knight 50 times will also be a 40 point task. Alrighty, this task is now completed, it's another 40 point task. I'm gonna finish getting 80 thieving, and then pickpocketing from a hero is a task, and also gonna be the best experience for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that once I'm done with the Paladins. Definitely was not gonna miss this one, I've been AFKing, but we just hit 99 thieving, that is a 200 point task, absolutely love to see it, this is insane, it's like 6.4 mil an hour, it's absolutely, absolutely love to see it. I'm gonna stay here for a bit longer, I do have some other AFK stuff I need to do and the cash is always gonna be nice, but I have a giant task list I rewrote last night that I'm gonna get done today. Easy 40 point task done. We had 60 wood cutting. The Waka Canoe requires a 57. I'm 144 tasks completed until my next area and only 210 points till tier 5. Doing some farming runs finally. This should actually get us base 50 or base, not base 50. Base, this should get us base of 5, which is a 10 point task. Alrighty, now that I finally have 30 defense, I will go ahead and equip this for the last task I need to complete in order to unlock tier 5 relic. I already know what I'm going. I, of course, am an only chests kind of guy, so we're going to go treasure seeker here. Absolutely love this. I am very excited to slam out clues on this leagues. Uh, this should be 100% favor for Hosidius, and that is a medium task. I'm going to go talk to the architect of the area so we can lock that in, and then I'm going to go enter the Woodcutting Guild for another 40 point task. This last book that I will be turning in should be 50 and should be another task completed. That is turn 50 books in, that's all of the book tasks, so that's super nice. Let's go ahead and get my beautiful rune crafting experience. I will turn the rest of these books in until I get one that I can't. But let's see what rune crafting level we end up getting to. Over 50. That's super nice. And we ended up with 50 rune crafting, almost 51. I'm sure we'll get it by turning the rest of these books in. Just got a nice 40 point task down. We thieved two of these, so I have over 100 teleports now. I am in the process of getting 100% favor everywhere. And big tip here, the favor certificates that you get do count towards the minigame stuff. So if you save the one you get from Klein of Karen until you're at five times minigame points, you can just completely knock out one of these. I personally didn't realize that and I used it on Piscorilius thinking it would just get me to 20, and then I was going to do the quest for 30%, but it got straight 100. I would definitely use it on Lava Kench, because this is the worst one. Well, I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get the Clue Geode from here, but we got it, so that's nice. That's another 40-point task. Just got a 100% favor over at the House of Lava Kench, and that one actually is an 80-point task. I think the team realizes that this one is <laughs> actually the worst, so... That is nice. I'm going to finish handing these out. I don't know if there's a task associated with it, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
and then I'm going to finish the Architectural Alliance mini quest. Alrighty, we have finished the Architectural Alliance for another 10 point task and we received a unique lamp. We have completed a lot of tasks. 196, I need 104 until the next area and I need 2,880 points. What can I use this lamp on? I, okay, I need to have 40 at least, so I'm gonna save this and use it on herb lore. Hey, there we go. Just got the Ranar seeds. That was a 1 in 500 chance, but with 3,000 pickpockets per hour, it's pretty no-brainer I was gonna do that. I'm gonna go do some tithe farming now. There's a bunch of points there. I'm gonna see how much I can get done today. Fun fact for you, ladies and gentlemen, you don't actually have to harvest any of the seeds that you plant in here. It is just gonna be plant 100 for each seed tier. You guys are gonna see that once I plant this last one here. That is going to be a nice task done for us. I, of course, do want the farming experience, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. It is, like, the best farming experience in the game at the beginning, so I want to get this out of the way. All right, I am very interested to see how much farming experience we're going to get and how many points we will get. 167 points and 100,000 farming experience. I don't think that's quite enough for the next tier. No, we are 5,000 short. That's fine. Oh, uh, I do need to do a couple of games for some other tasks, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna enter the Woodcutting Guild, and that is another 40 point task. I'm gonna go buy a Dragon Scimitar, and then I'm going to AFK at Sandcrabs for a bit until I am 60 and 40 and whatever range level I get. If I have done my math correctly, this should get us to 60 attacks, so I didn't have to AFK that much over at the Crabs. Oh, it looks like it has. Absolutely beautiful. There we are, 60 attack. We are all the way up to 1,141 total. Now, it wasn't a task to do that quest, but it is a task to wield a dragon scimitar and a dragon weapon. And I'm wondering if it is a task to do a spec. So I'm going to go test that out. I also got high enough. Oh, that was an 80 point task. I also got high enough magic during that quest to teleport, which I am going to do as well. Let's go attack this gnome and see if specking is a quest. Oh uh, yeah, teleporting is also a 40 point task. It is. Performer special attack is a 40 point task. Love to see it. I do know collecting super compost is a task, so there is another 40 point task out of the way. Absolutely looking beautiful. This will be another medium task completed. 100 unpowered orbs. And by the way, if you guys are on Runelight, I would highly recommend downloading the Wikisync plugin and then going to wiki, typing your name in, and then you can check the areas that you want. I know that Leagues this year has its own task list stuff that you can sort by, but it still is a little wonky and not everything works as intended. So if you're looking for a more straightforward path, that 100% will be the way to go. There we are entering the fishing guild. I have some AFK stuff to do, but I was AFKing last night on my computer. We did get all the way up to 25 million viewing experience, which was an elite task for 200 points. So we are only 1790 away from our next relic. I just gotta say, I love that the team makes killing this lesser demon a task because it really does just show how pure a majority of this community is by just simply forming a line and waiting their turn. I love it. Didn't realize that was going to be an 80 point task, I thought that was going to be a medium task, but completing Seer's Agility course, that is 80, I'm now going to go do the Barbarian course as well, that is a medium. This will be another 40 point task. Down, I did have to do the Bar Crawl, which was fine. It completes the ones that you don't have access to. Shout out to Star Miners, I don't know if you all are using them or not this leagues, but they are calling stars absolutely beautiful it's an 80 point task to mine a star so i would highly suggest checking them out and checking out their discord as well Alrighty, went ahead and killed <laughs> killed some barbarians so we can make the emerald ring and the ruby amulet i believe they are both 40 point tasks i don't think the ruby amulet is a 80 point task i think i have to string it so let's go ahead and do that i will get the ball of wool that i have out of the bank We'll string it. Boom, there it is. And it is a 40 point task. Very nice. Well, I missed that one. And uh, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know it was a task. I was just catching these for range. 150 red chins is a 200 point task in Kandarin. That's actually kind of wild considering how easy this is with the trickster relic. But 
We are only 1,080 points away from tier 6 and 58 tasks from our next relic or next area. All right, I don't think I need the shield for this. So let's go ahead and see if this counts as the task. It does equip a full rune set for 40. I got this off of Ogris. I got 66 magic. So we're also going to enter the magic guild here. I won't be able to buy runes since I don't have as Carnia unlocked, but that is another 40 point task. And I'm going to come up here and buy some mystic. I don't know if it's a task, but we'll keep the clip going just in case it is. I'll buy one of everything here and I'll go ahead and equip it. It might be just for one piece. Yeah, just a piece, 40. All right, so that was all 120 points done. Just got done catching 200 implings. A lot of the ones that I caught were eclectic implings, 154 of them. So there's a lot of people waiting around here trying to see if they can force spawn a rare impling that is dragon. I don't think I'm gonna be waiting. I kind of want to get some other tasks done. It is officially time for some winter Todd. I don't know how many points I'm going to get from doing this, but I'm currently at 46 tasks done and 580 points until my next relic. And the trickster relic burns nine logs at once here. So that's going to be pretty dumb. This will be 99 fire making. Love to see it. That's a 200 point task. This will not be my last game. I think it's like game 33. I want to at least go for 50 KC here and eventually I will get 50 million fire making experience. Now I know I had planned on doing some tithe farming earlier, but I have heard that the farming relic, which I plan on going, works at tithe farm. So if those seeds instantly grow and just allow you to pick them, that's a little insane. So I'm waiting to see if that's actually the case. If not, no harm, no foul. But I am going to go knock out the Karamja Easy Diary because I did do the math and in less than an hour I can get enough Chaos Runes to sell for Tokel to buy an Onyx, which is also a 200 point task. This here is going to get us our tier 6 relic. And you know, I've done a lot of thinking about this one and I think that I am going to pick the farm relic. So let's go ahead, check this out. Farmer's Fortune. I don't care about Equilibrium. Runa's Powers, it doesn't matter. I went Karen. I'm going to get the bonus. We're going to go Farmer's Fortune. And supposedly this works on Tithe Farm. So if it does, that's actually going to be busted. I need a few more Chaos Runes for another 200 point task. So I'm going to stay here, finish that off. And then I'm going to go check this out other Tithe Farm. Alrighty, another 200 point task you have to buy one from here i don't have the crafting level to do anything with this yet but i will be making a regen brace and a amulet of fury all right before we head over there i saved up 50 boxes from winter tot i wanted to wait until we were times four so let's go ahead and open these up and see if i can get anything all right so we got warm gloves i don't think it's a task to wear those got some magic logs i need to burn broom a torch also was not a task just deposit all this stuff and withdraw 10. <laughs> no, please just give it. Oh, okay, there we go. Pyramids are top. I think we have to get the whole set in order for it to be a task, unfortunately. Some Avento seeds, some Raynar seeds. All right, not too bad. I will be doing 100 KC at Tot because it does line up pretty well with 50 million experience. Please stop giving me gloves. Oh, I, I, want, I can't get any more, can I? No, I have three already. All right, let's open these up. Tome of Fire, all right, I will take it, even though I'm not magic. <laughs> okay, in the last 10 here. Oh, we got a task for filling collection log slots. All right, got the hood. A magic seed which means we rolled the torch or you know what that's not bad can I is this a task to equip it it is not but you know what I will take it that honestly is not bad I'll definitely have this finished then which will be really nice by the time we hit 100 KC all right we're gonna see together if this works oh my god it does <laughs> no way Oh, that is actually so dumb. Oh my god. I love it. Oh, this is... This is everything I could have dreamed of, you know? It's just like easy, 
farming. Wow. Oh my god, I didn't even notice the yield is tripled. <laughs> this is so, this is so good. Alright. Well, we got the task, it's 80 point task. <laughs> We're gonna figure out how much farming experience we get. I had 288,000. Let's just deposit it. I can only deposit what? I can only deposit more? Oh, it's not the same. Ah, okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. That was a lot of experience. <laughs> and I have enough points now, I think, to buy everything. But I thought I would have deposited all of them at once. That was kind of anticlimactic, I'm not going to lie. All right, so we got the seed box, and I'm now going to equip the farmer's outfit. That is a, another task, 80-point task. Love to see it. We have 32 left in 6,950 tasks until our next one. I'm going to plant the other 100 seeds because why not? All right, so we started at 288,000 last time. We ended up at 1.15 million. It was roughly about 4 mil an hour doing that. Let's go ahead and deposit these and see how much we get. 425,000 for 100. That's actually nuts. Oh, my God. I was at 74 when we started, and I got all the way up. That was 1.6 mil farming experience. That's actually insane. And I don't have anything else to do with these points. <laughs> so I'm going to see if there's any other tasks here. If not, I'm going over to do farming contracts. All right, got my first farming contract. It is Kadava Berries. Let's just go ahead and plant it. Boom, instant growth. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it picks it all at once. I totally forgot about that. We'll go ahead and clear it, turn this in, and there are tasks for all the way up to 150 of these being completed. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Oh, I didn't know that was going to come in. We just hit a 1500 total level, and that was a task worth 80 points. And I just hit 65 range as well. Unfortunately, I got a task for a willow seed, and surprisingly enough, I don't have those yet. So... I'm going to knock out some other farming tasks while I am doing some farming. It just makes the most sense. All right. Well, that took a while, but it was an 80 point task to check one and an 80 point task to dig up some roots. So that's pretty nice. We are 16 tasks away from the next area and 6,160 points away from the next relic. Finishing up Tower of Life. And while I'm down here, I'm going to do the diary task where we need to kill a sword chick as well. There we are, completing Elemental Ore Shop 2. Some nice experience there, all the way up to 64 crafting and 57 smithing. Was a 40 point task to complete that quest. Okay, I had three clues and surprisingly I was able to do all of them. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any uniques and upgrades from any of these. Oh my god. <laughs> There's the ornament kit that we needed. I know that is a task. Um, the magic longbow actually is super nice because it's better than the magic short bow. We ended up getting two tasks there, both 40 point tasks. We got a scroll box master. I don't even think I can like do any of those feasibly, but I'll give it a go. I'm lo really looking for range upgraded gear. And we did not get any, unfortunately, other than the black dehyde. I was looking for blessed, but that's okay. I, I guess I'm going to try to do this. I have no idea. Oh, it's Sherlock. There's no way. I did notice that we got some colored fire lighters. That was the, actually the last task I needed to unlock my new area. I think I'm going to hold off on a bit because I really don't need to be doing anything over there. And I don't want to end up getting clue steps that are in Priftonass. So I am going to be picking Toronwyn. I want to do Gauntlet. want to do some CG and get that powerful gear. Well, that's where it stops right now. I will keep this because I definitely can do this one. Reanimate an Abyssal Demon Head. I just don't have the Slayer level right now to obtain one. Well, I did a Veld's task and I got 10 hard clue boxes. I was able to do 7 of them, which isn't bad. Let's go ahead and open them up. Hopefully I can get some range upgrades here. Alright, there are some blessed Zamorak Chaps. I love to see that. Oh, we got a Guthix Dehyde Shield and some Purple Sweets. It is a task to eat, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, nothing too exciting there. We got a Blessing and three more Collection Slot items, and that is going to be nice for us. I'm going to slap these in here at the moment. 
Uh, actually, I'm just going to deposit. Pull these last three out here and see if we can get anything else. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Love to see it. A coif would be nice, and so would van braces. All right. We gained 20 uniques from hard clues. That's actually kind of wild. Didn't know we had that many already. And that is another 80-point task. Now, I also managed to grab four brimstone keys. What I'm looking for here, honestly, dragon arrowheads. That is about it. Got some iron coal. Got some... Got some iron ore and got some coal. 109k and oh, 103 dragon arrows. Love to see that. The farming relic made this super, super nice. And I saved a Ranar seed and three Snape seeds. So absolutely love that. That is 30 prayer potions done. I'm going to continue making these. I am just prepping for some fight caves and I am prepping to go get 99 range. I am a little concerned because Gradations were not saving with the range relic earlier, so I'm hoping there's not an issue with it. I do have 1,000 red chins, and I'm hoping those save. Finishing up the Taibo One Eye Trio. This is a nice quest. We'll be able to fish Karambwans, and that will be really nice for some AFK time. Finishing up in Search of Knowledge, we did get a little lucky with the pages, so that was nice. I didn't have to spend it too long over there. I ended up getting 34 hard clues. I killed the spiders and I didn't kill Seracnus because I really honestly wanted more of the hard clues. So I'm very happy that I got that done. Let's go ahead and show all these and give them to her. And that will be a task completed. Kind of shocked it's only a 10 point task to be honest. We're going to go ahead and put this lamp into Herblore. And it's 120,000 herb lore experience. Which brings us all the way up to 64 herb. I have been hard at work completing 25 medium clues. We're going to slap these open, hopefully fill out some collection log slots, but let's see if we can get ranger boots at all. All right, that's <laughs> two of the same item. Wow, that's kind of wild. All right, got a wolf mask and an adamant H helm. We have a Guthix Miter and another Adamant H Helm. Getting some tasks done. Fill five medium clue log slots. Obtain a unique from a medium clue. Now we have a headband. Is that the third time? No, no, no. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the same helmet three times would have been absolutely wild. Oh my god. <laughs> Every single item. <laughs> is a unique what in the world that is actually insane oh my god none of more ranger boots though all right treasure seeker relic gives you a bonus medium casket oh my god yes wow that is a lot of elegant that's almost six items again that's kind of nutty duplicate arceus banner a guthix cloak let's go ahead and bank that is insane oh my god <laughs> I love the clue seeker relic, man. All right, uh, fill 20. What is that? That's an 80 point task, love to see that. And we got a hard casket, okay, I'll take that. Two green dehyde chaps, four more items, elegant legs, <laughs> elegant legs again, cabbage shield, unicorn mask, another H helm, a boater, nothing too impressive there. I didn't know you could go up on the casket. That's kind of wild. Another headband. Some other stuff I don't need. Oh, there they are. The ranger boots. Thank the Lord. Well, we got them. A hundred collection logs. I don't even have these in the main game. And I've done like 300 medium clues. So that's kind of insane. Leprechaun hat. All right. 200 points for filling 40 medium clue log slots i'm gonna be honest i was not expecting to get this many points from doing these clues but here we are these are getting slotted over here all right we still have 10 more to open all right that's the first one that's kind of a dud followed up by another pair of ranger boots oh my god <laughs> oh that is nutty all right it's not too shabby oh got a bank Pick up whatever items I have here that are mine. Alright, just three. 
Two pairs of ranger boots, huh? Wow, can't even get them in the main game. Alright, ooh, black elegant. I love that. Ah, oh, that must be full mithril plate G, I believe. 25 medium clue scrolls opened. Which means we've gotten two extra, I think, because I don't think I opened one before. But I could be wrong. That is a master scroll box. I am going to try and do that. But I have one in the bank at the moment. Alright, and then for the hard... Nothing, unfortunately, that good. Wow, what an opening that was. That is super amazing. We got a lot of tasks done. Well, I'm down to 4,110 points. I think I got over 600 points from all that. That's actually insane. I just got done getting 35 million fire making experience. I do have 19 more games to go at top, but I'm going to wait till I'm at X16. I want to see if I can finish Pyro and I need a Willow Seed for a farming contract and I really don't want to go to Nature Implings. So let's see if we can get one here. Fortunately, not so far. There is the bottom. So I just need the boots. Oh, that's a new seed. I wonder what seed that is. There are the boots. So that is that task done. That is 80 points. I kind of figured I would get it done. Another <laughs> Tome of Fire. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't need it. <laughs> I really want a Willow Seed. That's really what I want. Oh no, Magic Seed. Oh no, you Seeds. Another Pyro Top. Oh boy. Alright, well. Let's exchange it. I do have the top. No, I don't want to trade my full set in. Yes. And we did not. Unfortunate. It looks like it's nature imps for me. I was able to kickstart my contracts again by getting the willow seed that I needed. I've completed a good amount of farming tasks so far. I'm not quite at the 150 contracts yet. I think I'm probably around like 65-ish. But I have unlocked a lot of points. We are almost 12,000 total points. And I just got a task to plant a redwood tree. And I know this is a 200 point task to check on it. If I haven't said it enough, the farming relic is absolutely busted. Like, it's just so, so, so good. I'm going to keep this here until we get another one. But I just wanted to show you guys that beautiful 200 point task. I'll be honest, I really wasn't planning to do another clip tonight. It is pretty late. It's after midnight, but... Planting these limps and picking them was 21 million experience an hour. There's 99 farming. That's another 200 point task done. Absolutely love to see it. All right, we finally got an elite casket done. They are fixing the issue where you can get item requirements. Even though they're technically in your areas, you still can't get those items. Would love to get a rune crossbow. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, yes, I want a chance at the mimic boss fight. Okay, I guess I have to go do that somewhere else. Oh, we got a royal gown top. Ugh, ew. Oh, that's unfortunate. I did not want that. <laughs> but I did get an 80 point task and a 40 point task done with that. This is the final contract I need in order to complete 150. That is an 80 point task. Love to see it. I am going to finish out 25 million farming experience since I'm so close. And look at some of the other farming tasks around the game I have left to do. This is going to be a pretty big task to teleport between two spirit trees you own. That is a 200 point task. And according to the wiki, less than 1% of people have that task done. So, not bad. That is a 200 point task to check your dragon fruit tree. The last thing I'm going to be doing here... Probably going to get 35 mil farming from doing this, but we're going to be planting all these Calquat trees and I'm going to be checking them. It's 147,000 each. I cannot wait. <laughs> this is insane. Here we are with 25 million farming experience, another 200 point task down. We are only 1600 away from tier 7. This is the last tree here for 35 million experience and 200 a point task completed. This is wild. It is 96 million experience an hour. I am almost out of Calquat tree seeds. 
This is pretty much all that I have left other than the ones I have not made into trees in the bank. Well, I wasn't really expecting to get 50 million farming experience today, but this is going to be it. Still no pet, but that is another 200 point task down. I'm going to finish off these pineapples, see if we can get the pet at all. That would be another 200 point task for us. I've got 27 easy clues here. There are a good amount of points associated with these. Let's go ahead and start opening them up. Oh my god, <laughs> flare trousers. <laughs> and I get an extra easy, love to see it. Bandos robe top, black wizard hat G, and plate bodies. That is 40 points, 10 unique items. Nothing really there. We got a beanie, and that is another 40 point task for filling five clue, five easy uh, collection slots. Already 80 points down, love to see that. Oh, there's the Team Cape X. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not a task. I'm unsure as to what some of the equip tasks are, so I'm actually going to be looking at those once I'm done opening up all these. We got the kill today. For <laughs> oh, you love to see it. That's so funny. I love opening clues so much. I really, really do. It's like... So much fun for me. I don't know why. Ooh, okay. T you fill 20. Alright, that was an 80 point task. Awesome. Two clues without really anything. Let's go ahead and put these back. 15 more to go. Alright. 35 uniques, another 80 point task. Black cane, another bob shirt, more vestments, some pages that we can't use, a mask, and a hat. Open 25 easy clues was a 10 point task. Kind of wild we got all those 80 and 40 point tasks before that one. Alright, steel helm, more flared trousers, those are nice. Another page, wizard trimmed, another page. I wonder... Do, I'm pretty sure I have full black G wizard now. I could be wrong. Hopefully I do. I think that might be a task. Trimmed amulet. Power amulet. Trim. Nice. Another bob shirt. Powdered wig. Wow, that was a lot. And then the last one here. Beautiful. Love to see it. So we got a lot of tasks. Let's see exactly how much... We're all the way down to 690, and I started at 980, so that is pretty nice. I went ahead and knocked out 100 beginner clue caskets. I've heard that it takes about 80 on average to get the entire collection log filled, so let's see if we can do that here. I don't really honestly care <laughs> what we really get. I'm just looking to get all the points done. Alrighty. Looking good so far. It looks like... We'll be able to do about 10 of these per inventory, maybe. More of the same. Three. <laughs> back to back to back. That's pretty funny. Mole slippers. There we go. Another ornament kit. That should be full monk's robe trimmed. There's an 80 point task. Uh, actually, I don't think I have the top. I thought I already did. There's the top. No, actually, I'm pretty sure I do have the top already. These are going to be, like, pretty pretty fast. Because I don't want to... We're not really looking for much other than... The unique slots. Ooh, there's the parrot. Alright, cool. If I don't finish it, I still have 92 scrolls left in the bank, so I will go do more. Although, I really think that we should finish this in 100. If I could get another head, like, there, there's the, yeah, sandwich lady. Sandwich lady bottom. Alright. I keep getting the hat. <laughs> That's the third time I've gotten the hat. There we go. Fill every collection slot for beginner. Wow, I did it in 50? That is nuts. We are 210 away from the next relic. 
35 items from unique beginner clues or from clues. I don't know if there's any more, but I'm just going to continue opening these. I think there's one for 40. I could be incorrect, though. But I feel like we'll get it if there is. Yeah, I think that one would have gotten it. If there was one. But we're already so close to being done. Might as well finish it up here. A lot of parrots. Oh my gosh. I love opening clues so much. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It really is. I'm going to have to set up my POH so that I can get a lot of this stuff stored. So I don't have to worry about it taking up all this room in my bank. And this should be the last six here that we'll ever have to open on leagues. Nice. There we go. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at the collection log. Four clues here. And we got it completely filled. Yeah, we are super good. That sandwich laid top was the last thing we actually needed. This right here will finish the Lumby hard. Giving us enough points to unlock our tier 7. Absolutely beautiful. I have thought a little bit about this. I think I am going to go with the Soul Stealer. I don't really have anything to abuse the Berserker. And to be honest, I don't really care for it with the regions that I'm going. And with Weapon Master, with range, doesn't really make much sense. The best thing I could theoretically use would be a Dark Bow or blowpipe and I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough damage to outheal the 25 damage per spec so I'm going to be going soul stealer this makes a lot of sense for raids and a lot of the other AFK PVM content that I want to be doing 15,110 points oh that feels so good love to see it I was just finishing up Shazian 5 so I could get the 80 point achievement for it but we managed to fill 200 collection log slots that I was not expecting to do, so that's a nice 200 point task. And we got base 50s, so that was another 40 point task. Gonna be working on some herbal lore tasks, and while I'm doing this, I 100% am gonna hit 1800 total level. I don't think it's a task, I think 1750 was, but it is a nice a milestone. With this game ending, that is a 100 KC done at Winter's Hot. That is the last KC I will be doing here. We should hit 50 million experience based off the remaining fire making tasks I need to do. So that will be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and open up these five supply crates. See if I actually get anything useful. I did not. I was really hoping for a dragon axe or the pet, but I'm glad to be done here. Two tasks done. We're going to buy one snapdragon. And that is a 40 point task. And then we're going to trade in 100 tickets for experience. 816,000 experience. That is a 200 point task. I don't think that gets me 90, unfortunately. I was hoping it was, but I didn't do the math. I wanted to hit 90 for the RD course, but I'll see what else I can do. All right, I know I talked about saving Prif until after I did more hard clues, but they are going to be fixing it soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and unlock the area now. There are a lot of tasks I want to do before other people get there including catching some crystal implings and catching some red chins. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this. I'm going to head over there now and start to get some of those tasks out of the way. Here we are completing a 200 point task over in Prif, catching 300 red chins. I'm going to go knock out some other easy tasks that give a bunch of points as well. Just got done setting up the dig site pendant and the magic birdhouse and U-Bird house, and we are now mithril rank, which is absolutely beautiful. Come over here, we can look now. We're over 18,000 points, and we're over 10, well, right under 10,000 away from adamant. Thanks to the spoils of war I've been getting from Soul Wars, while also getting my beautiful prayer experience from over there. We have high enough level now to make a Dragonstone Amulet, which is a hard task. And I'm going to be making my Glory now, which is an upgrade from what I currently have. 
This is a 200 point task to do the Artie Agility course. I also thought that it was 50 laps of any course, but it's actually 50 laps of rooftop, so I didn't get it when I did my 50 laps over at Prif. But I am thankful to have this done. I will be returning here because I do want to get the 50 laps of any course. It is just 40 points, but I need to get 99 agility anyway, and I don't see that happening without doing some more. We should be getting a pretty big cooking experience drop. I don't think it'll be enough for 99. It was not, but it's super, super close. I definitely have enough raw fish in the bank to finish this off. I picked a bunch of Zami grapes. We ended up with 1,800, and the fact that we converted almost 1,700 of them is super nice. That is a lot of herb lore experience. I've already made the 1,000 dwarf weed potions unfinished. It's a task to make 80 of them. I'm also going to make a Ceridum and Brew, and this will be enough to get me a super combat, which is also a 200 point task. We are coming up on 99 cooking, and I am going to go get the cape because it is a task to cook 100 angler fish. That is a 200 point task, just as reaching 99 cooking is a 200 point task. And if you have the cape, you actually can't fail while cooking. So I'm going to go snag that. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to cook those anglers, and I'm going to get another 200 point task. This will be another nice 200 point task for us. Cook 100 angler fish. And I really did just want to wait till we hit 99 so I didn't fail any of these as they are really slow to fish up. I'm going to finish cooking these. And then I'm going to start making some of those ranging potions so I can knock out some other herb lore tasks. Alrighty, unfortunately I did not get the herb lore stuff done that I wanted to. I only got to 87. I uh, really haven't made a lot of Divine Potions before, mostly because they're not used on the only chest account. So I really wasn't sure how much experience I was going to get for making them. Turns out it's not a lot. <laughs> it's like 24 experience a time 16, which is abysmal. So instead I'm going to snag 50 million thieving experience before I head on the road to go see my family for the holidays. And then while I am beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what we're after right here. While I am on the road, uh, I will not be driving. I will be a passenger. I'm going to be AFK thieving as well. I need 400 of these. You guys might be asking yourselves why. Well, in Prif, I can buy 50 mil crafting and 50 mil smithing experience, and I already have the levels to do so. And this, oh my gosh, yes, another drop. This is entirely AFK, and it's super passive, and I'm going to be doing it when I can't do other stuff. And I'm hoping that I will get the Rocky Pet, which will be another 200 points for this as well. So that's going to be super nice. Hopefully I can get all that done. I have so many things written down that I didn't even realize I had written down 100 Divine Ranging Potions as a task. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish these up. This should be it. That is a 200 point task. I knew I was making these for some reason, but I couldn't honestly remember why. By the way, the rate of obtaining these is about 1 in 200, and I think it's like 50, and you get 3,000 pickpockets an hour, and it's doubled, so I'm looking about 24 of these per hour at the moment. Well, I am officially back from the Thanksgiving holiday over at my family's. I did actually get a good amount of point tasks done. We are 3,650 away from our last relic. And the tasks that I did, thanks to my brother, were a lot of the crystal impling tasks. I got all of those knocked out. Uh, I also managed to get this little guy while we were thieving. So I kind of expected to get him. We're going to be thieving a lot more, well over 200 million experience, so that I can get 50 million smithing and crafting experience. And then I also have 20 easy caskets. So let's go ahead and start opening these, see if we can get any unique slots. There we go. There's at least two. I don't know if they're new. The wizard hat. I know that I need uh, one of the wizard robe tops or bottoms trimmed, so I'm really hoping ooh, we get an extra extra treasure chest. I'm really hoping we can get some really nice stuff from here, fill out those collection log slots, because there are a lot of points associated with the collection log slot. There's another hat. I don't need the hat. I do know it's a task to wear full vestment. I don't know if we're going to get it from these 20 or so caskets here. I'm hoping we can, though. I know I have the beanie. I think I already have that, which is unfortunate. Oh, no. 
<laughs> at least we got a, another casket, though. A, I think that's the one that I needed. I really hope that it was. Build 50 easy clue logs. That is another 200 points down. Absolutely love that. Oh, that was not what we needed. We need the robe bottom. Oh, I need the trimmed robe top and the or the gold bottom. That is unfortunate. Don't know that we're going to get it. Oh, we did not. That is unfortunate, but we did get 200 points there. All right, I don't know if I need all of these items, but this should be a task to equip full vestment. I'm wondering, I guess I do need all of these items. There we go. Reach a prayer bonus of 30. Wow, that actually did it, huh? So that is an 80 point task. And then the full vestment, I think, is also an 80 point task. It is. So another 160. So we got 360 points from those 30 easies. We are back with some more clues. I got 30 mediums here. And I'm just looking for like maybe wizard boots or some other stuff. We already have rangers. And we're going to be filling out a lot of collection log slots. So let's start opening these bad boys. That is a lot of uniques. I don't know if any of them are new or not. All right, so we got holy sandals. Uh, I don't know if I had those before. Climbing boots. I know I definitely didn't have those before. <laughs> Third pair of ranger boots. Oh my god. I love opening clues so much. Let's go ahead and snag these. And for those of you who are astute, you probably saw the elites that we have in there. I do have four of them. I am hoping that we can get a uh, rune crossbow. Two spiked manacles. Wow, okay. So I've got all the boots now. That's super nice. More spiked manacles. <laughs> elites take up so much room. Or not elites. Uh, mediums take up so much room because it's always max roll. We got the crier coat. I think that was a new wolf mask. Another medium casket. I don't remember this triggering that much last time we opened a bunch of mediums, so it's really nice that it is now. Just some headbands, more manacles. And I am working... Oh, we have three hard clues as well. That's going to be nice to open. I am working on getting, I think, 84 construction so I can start putting all of this stuff in my house. Ooh, a master scroll box that I love. I'm going to try and do that later. 12 more. And I don't think I can charge Dragonstone jewelry in my area, even though... Ooh, black elegant pants. Nice. Four pairs of Ranger boots. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, so three wolf cloaks? What the hell are the odds of that? That's actually wild. I didn't, need, I didn't think you could roll the same item three times. I knew about, like, twice, but I didn't know three. Is that a black elegant shirt? Oh, we have full black elegant? I love that. We have white elegant skirt. That might be full. All right, I'm going to take these out because we'll probably open those. It's another black elegant shirt. All right. Actually, let's just go ahead and deposit this. We'll do the hards and then I'll do the elites. All right. Nope, nothing good there. We have 15 hard clue slots. Is that an 80 point task? It is. And the last one, uh, black dehyde chaps. I don't think I have those, and I think it's a test to equip full black dehyde. See, we're at 806 out of 820. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room. Oh, we got the rune crossbow. Absolutely beautiful. Love to see it. That's really what I wanted. Dragon mace. A master scroll box. Nothing here is too exciting. And nothing there was too exciting. We get a dragon longsword for free, though. But really glad we got this rune crossbow. Now I don't have to make one. Just got an 80-point task for crafting an eternal teleport gem. I don't think it's a task for using it. I'll go ahead and see. I don't, I don't believe so. But I did have it sitting in my bank, and I realized that it was a task, so I went ahead and finished that off. I did have 2,000 teak planks. I got all the way up to 80 construction last night on my laptop. I want to finish these last four levels so I can finish clearing out my bank. I was all the way up to 817 spaces out of the 820. And I think I'm all the way down to like 650-ish by putting all of the beginner, easy, and medium clue rewards we have gotten so far during leagues. And this last lever here will bring us all the way up to... Oh my gosh, if I could click. Will bring us all the way up to 84 construction, which is exactly the goal I had in mind. 
I am actually going to wait to deposit a lot of the hard clue reward stuff we have because I have over 60 hard clues I want to get done. And shout out to Sapphire Spider. I just saw in the Discord where you got that ACB. Absolutely beautiful, man. KC11. That's a little nutted, I'm not going to lie. Just a daily reminder to get your free prayer experience. So make sure you guys get that. It doesn't take too long now. I think it only takes me, yeah, less than 400 zeal tokens. I'll have to do some more soul wars tonight, but that puts us all the way up to 88 prayer. Just got done filling a hard stash unit, and I can confirm that the rune crossbow slaps, especially with all the rune bolts I have gotten from soul wars. I just maxed the 30 and I wasn't even praying. So that's super nice. We are less than 3,000 away from tier 8, and I will be holding off on starting any PVM grinds until we hit tier 8. I really want that. I think I'm going to go with the Guardian, but I really want the X5 drop is really what I'm waiting for. I was waiting on opening more, but I got a Rune Warhammer task, and I want to see if I can get any more range upgrades before we go over to Shamans. So let's go ahead and open some of those up. That is a unique, but not an upgrade for us. Another unique. Two uniques, actually. Another unique. Uh, another unique. No range upgrade. And that is a body, but we already have that. But that was another unique. Absolutely love to see that. Uh, we do end up with one more hard casket, so maybe we can luck out here. I do have a lot of clues that I need to do for hards, so... I really am going to enjoy that. They are my favorite clues to complete. And we got more chaps, but I already have those. I'm really looking for Vams or a Coif, to be honest. Who needs to splash or attack things with magic when I can just enchant all the bolts that I have? I have over 800 more diamonds to make. I'm just going to make more diamond e-bolts. 100% better than runite bolts. Well, that did not take too long. <laughs> I think the prep for it took longer than actually getting the rune warhammer, but that's pretty nice. Alrighty, I've been doing clues all morning, and I wanted to take a break. I want to go get something to eat, but I got 25 hard caskets on top of the ones we already did this morning. So let's go ahead and start opening these up. Really hoping we can get some collection log task slots completed here. <laughs> Look at that. 50 unique items from hard clues. We do get boots. We already have ranger boots, though, so it's all right. But that is a 200-point task. I was one away. And then fill 50, not 50, fill 30 hard clue collection log slots. That is another 200 point task. Wow, I was so close from the last ones that we had. Another Master Scroll. We got the Armadillo Hide Top again. And I'm going to open this up to see if we can trigger the, uh, the Clue Relic here. Oh my gosh, 25 hard Clue Scrolls completed. That is 40. We did get another Casket. The Enchanted Top. I think that is full gold or trimmed for us. So I think that might be a task. Let's go ahead and equip this and see. That was not a task. Maybe it's gold. We'll equip this and see then. I could be wrong. I have no idea. Looks like I'm wrong. Looks like I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I swear. I swear I thought it was a task. I'll have to look later. We got the thieving bag, not too shabby. We do get a heraldic shield. There's some van braces. I did not have those yet, so that's really nice. And we got the coif, absolutely beautiful. I don't think that is a full Ceridomen. I will have to check, but if it's not, that's the closest we are. Yeah, I think I'm just, ooh, we got an elite casket as well. That I'm just missing the legs for those, so that's pretty nice. Hopefully I can get those in these clues. I know it is a task to wear full. Oh, we rolled it, but we got the body. Some more rune. Oh, we got Guthics. Armadil again. And I know it also is a task to equip full of a set. That's Guthics. I wonder if we have the kite shield. Doesn't look like we do. So we are getting pretty close to completing some other 80 point tasks. I don't think that they're gold. Oh, we got an elite again. Oh, I love to see that. All right, open one more here. We got another trimmed kit. I already have that task completed. Let's pick this stuff up. I can't wait to open these elites. Hopefully we can actually get some uniques from the elites because I really have not gotten any and it feels kind of bad. Wow, that, oh no, we hit the rare drop table and we got noted potions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sucks. 
Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> oh, there's... Actually, we didn't have the boots either, so I guess we do need the legs now still. Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. That's what I actually need on only chests. That's kind of funny that we got that here. Alright, I don't think that we're going to be able to complete any tasks, but I will scour, and if we can, I'll do another clip. But we have two Elite Caskets. We got a Bucket Helm, which was the only unique we have managed to get outside of, I think, the top. And then we got a Top Hat. And we got a Master Casket. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure it's just like a task to open one of these, so... Wow, look at that, so we're just zooming through some points. Let's open it. Oh, <laughs> we got Gilded Boots! <laughs> oh my gosh, we also got a Jungle Demon Mask. So that was just... is it... Okay, it's not a task to equip any. But, wow, that was so many points just for doing those. Oh my gosh, we're almost at 22,000. Oh, I love this so much. All right. I'm, oh my god, we got another master. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, we got a bullwig. Okay, we got a Shazian hood. Oh my gosh, I was sitting there talking like an idiot and I didn't even notice. Yeah, I don't think it's a task to equip any of these, but you never know. I'm just going to do it anyway. All right, I'm going to check and see if we got anything from hards. And that was a task to try a magic log at the Forsaken Tower. I am going to head over to the Woodcutting Guild. Uh, there are some woodcutting tasks I want to get done. I want some AFK time. I want to eat and relax for a bit. I've been pretty much going nonstop for about an entire week now. And I want to get some AFK skilling tasks done. Just completed it, chopping 75 magic logs. It is a task to fletch 200 magic logs unstrung, so I'm going to get enough magic logs to get that done. And it is also a task to fletch a magic shield, which requires 87 fletching. I do have enough supplies in my bank to get that, so I'm going to stay here until I have enough logs to do those tasks. Finishing up the 200 magic along bow U task for 80 points, and now I'm going to make a shield for another 80 points quick 160 points for us which brings us down below 2000 points until our next relic gonna be killing the steel here in brimhaven and then i'm also gonna be chilling here until we get rune crossbow limbs because i have everything else to make it and that is a separate task as well didn't take us too long to get the rune limbs and to be honest the kills were super quick i guess uh what i just had a hammer what is going on i know i just went through one but anyway, the kills did not take too long with the range relic. It was absolutely busted, especially with the increased prop chance of the bolts. And there is a 80 point task complete. I'm going to claim the monkey backpack from completing Monkey Madness Part 2. That's going to be another 40 point task. And then I don't know what I'm going to do for now. Equipping a monkey backpack is a 40 point task. I am actually going to go kill a black dragon. It's a task and then I have black dehyde top and bottom. I need the vams and it is a, another task to equip full black dragon. I also think it's a task to equip full red dehyde and I don't have that yet so I'll probably knock that out after this. Let's start with the thing that I know is a task, the full black dehyde, and that is a 80 point task. And then we will check the red dehyde. I'm unsure if that one is a task. It is. I would assume a 40 point task. And I was correct. So it's another 120 points down for free. By adding all of the memoriam crystals, that is an 80 point task here over at Prith. A very easy one, to be completely honest with you. This last bell that we will be ringing will be a 40 point task here over in Prith. And to be honest, I'm getting really close to tier 8, so I actually might be able to get it today instead of this weekend. Just hit base 60s, that was an 80 point task. I'm here AFK while writing down more tasks that I can do to get these last couple of points for tier 8. Another 80 point task down, equipping a crystal shield. I was able to write down another 720 points I can do, which doesn't quite get us there, but with everything else I have written down, that should be able to get us the 1280 we need left. There we are with Varok Easy Diary complete. I think I'm gonna go and knock out the Artie Med and Artie Hard next. And this should be the medium diary done once we catch this shrimp. And there it is. That is 40 points down. I'm going to complete the heart now. We are finishing up the Knight's Training Ground. This is going to be a total of 120 points in tasks. And that is a lot of experience. 
We're so close to base 70s, I honestly might go AFK to knock that out. <laughs> and we're going to activate both of these. That one for a 40 point task and this one for an 80 point task. And with how close we are, I'm definitely going to go knock this out. I honestly was not expecting to get this done tonight. It is Friday, pretty late, but I was hoping to get this done over the weekend. But here we are. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm building up to. There's 250 redwood logs fletched into arrow shafts for 200 points. And then let's go ahead and finish this off. That is a burn 200 redwood logs for 200 points as well. And that is our tier 8 relic. Oh my gosh. I was out with some friends and the wife tonight and decided, you know what? I'm just going to cut redwoods the entire time I was out. And I cut over 600 of them. And I already know what relic I'm taking. It is the Guardian. It just has the overall, I feel like, most applicable uses this league. So that is what I am taking. We need to be at a bank to claim this. Let's try that again. There it is. That is tier 8. I honestly cannot believe it. We have received the Guardian Horn. And let's just go ahead and summon it. I can't summon my guardian here. It says it can be summoned almost anywhere. Let's summon it here. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. It is just chilling. Wow, it is really going back and forth. <laughs> I'm very excited to use this, and I'm very excited to get into combat now. I wanted to wait until tier 8 for that times 5. We have it. I am very, very, very excited to get into some beautiful stuff. It's late at night, so I'm not going to grind out any gauntlet at the moment. I am going to do some Slayer. I have a Master Clue that I kind of want to get done tonight, and I need 85 Slayer for an Abyssal uh, head. I have to reanimate it, so I'm going to see if I can go ahead and knock that out tonight. Nah, did you all really think I wasn't going to go do Corrupt Gauntlet right after we got tier 8? You had to have been tripping. <laughs> oh, absolutely beautiful. I am so excited to grind this out. I cannot tell you. Alrighty, we just got the 3-2-1 mage worth of four points. The combat task, which completed the combat achievements easy tier for us. Well, since we're already recording, let's go ahead and open it up here. We got an elite scroll box. Love to see that. I'm going to love getting all of these from Gauntlet. Knocking out a whole bunch of combat tasks. We got a crystal weapon seed. Unfortunately, that's not really what I wanted. I'm looking for the armor seeds to unlock that beautiful, beautiful smithing and crafting grind. It is unfortunate because I've already went ahead and bought the bow and the shield, but you know what? At least it's a drop. We completed a master combat task there. That is 10 CG down, have not failed yet. Can we get a armor seed? We did not. It is a one out of 10, but so is the crystal weapon seed, which is what we unfortunately have received. All right, I've been hard at work so far today. We were last to Kotlin, but it was really late last night and today I just kind of wanted to relax a little bit and do some clues. We've done 50 total. We're going to start with the easy ones. I am missing, I think it's like 29 collection log slots. Ooh, look at that, the rainbow. And let's go ahead and open this up so we can see what we're triggering here. But that is a 200 point task to get 350. And I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to get it from this. So we're just going to slap these bad boys open. Is that the top? 75 clue scrolls completed. We did get a ham joint. I don't need the top though. I need the bottoms. Which is unfortunate. Oh, we got another Team X cape. And we got a medium casket to trigger. So that's pretty nice. Nope, don't want mediums. Want the easies. But I went ahead and pretty much did everything in my bank except for all of the hards because those take a little bit longer to go through. And I didn't feel like doing all of them today. I want to have some stuff for later on whenever I decide I want more relaxation time because I really do enjoy. That should be 350 collection log slots. 200 points. They're still, I think, all the way up to 700 something. So... Clues are still going to be real nice for me to do. We'll bring out the mediums now. Finish off of these easy clues. Boom, there we are. Oh, I think that's what I needed. Let's actually just go ahead and, and look. I think I put it in the... Oh, it's in the house. 
I'll have to withdraw it later and do it. I'll I'll do all that. See if we can get everything that we need, but I doubt it. Some more manacles. Man. Medium clues really take up a lot of room because they roll the max all the time. If you guys didn't take the clue relic, let me know why. And honestly, if you're regretting it, there's our fifth pair of ranger boots. Love to see that. I'm very interested to see uh, why people didn't pick the the clue relic. What is that? Oh, 75 medium clues done. Very nice. Was not sure if I was going to get that. I knew I was close, but I wasn't sure how close. Oh, I am out of bank space. Okay. Well then. Probably going to have to cut this clip short and go bank a bunch of stuff and then continue later. All right, I got all the easy and medium stuff done here. We did end up getting a full set, so that is going to be a task when we equip this. An 80-point task. Love to see that. And I know that there is one for Gilded, and I was kind of hoping it would be, like, Rune G-trimmed. But it actually is full Gilded, and it's only an 80-point task, which in my mind is honestly kind of wild. I'm going to continue opening up those clues now over at the bank. Let's go head on back over there. I do have some mediums left, and then we've got the hards and the elites. I'm looking very much forward to opening those hards and elites. There's still some tasks I don't have, like equip a full set of rune from specific god. It can be any. So let's go ahead and pull these mediums out and open those up and now we can get started with the hards oh there is a shield i already have one though so it's all right and i think after this one i am going to start putting some of this stuff i think that ceradoman shield was actually what i needed i'm not gonna lie oh a blue calf all right i'm gonna go ahead and check after i open up these five what is that? Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. Again, we get them here. Really need them on the, uh... <laughs> on the real only chests in the main game. Unfortunately, we got them here. Alright, let me go ahead and type in... Uh, Saradoman. Uh, no, I need the plate body. Oh, that is so unfortunate. And I know I didn't finish any of the actual vestment for range. That sucks. All right, well, let's go ahead and open these for black. D hide chaps G. Magic C, nothing wild there. Dragon full helm ornament kit. And for the last one, we got musketeer pants. Elites to me have always felt very underwhelming and even in leagues. Uh, that seems to still be the consensus. Do I have enough for full bandos? Uh, I th still think I need the shield, but I will equip it just to see. Yep. Oh, no, you don't. Why would you not need the shield? That's kind of weird. All right, well, there's another 80-point task done. Before I head on over and start banking this stuff, I'm sure you guys want to look at the log progression. We're all the way up to 373, so we'll go over to others, or sorry, to clues. Look at easies. We're at 75 out of 131. Not too shabby. I think I now have all the tasks done outside of 150 easies, which I will complete. Mediums, same thing. Wow, we're all the way up to 91 out of 115. We are actually so close to filling this. That's kind of wild. We've completed 82. Again, it goes all the way up to 150. For hards, we're at 77 out of 134. I still need a full set, which is coif top and bottom. I have not managed to get that yet. I don't need anything else. And then for elites, we really have not gotten anything too wild. There isn't really anything to get here, to be completely honest. And then for masters, we have gotten a few things. There are the rare slots, which we haven't gotten for hards, but we did get gilded boots on the elite and master because i know i got it from the master and then as far as shale treasure shared treasure rewards go we've completed 371 total i don't have a full page set yet which is actually kind of odd uh, but we're almost done this as well 37 out of 49 
I can't store the team capes in the bank, but we did get everything else squared away outside of the pages and other miscellaneous rewards I have gotten. I'm going to clean up by putting the teleports in here, but I still have company over, so I am not going to be heading over to Gauntlet. Instead, I'm going to do some AFK stuff, maybe some Slayer. We'll see. I was doing some Soul Wars, and then I thought to myself, you know what? I've got enough points for about a week. Let's go ahead and return to Slayer. I got Worms. I have two left, and we finally got the Dragon Knives drop. Let's go ahead and test these bad boys out. These are going to be absolutely insane. Oh, the one tick. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. And we also ended up getting an achievement uh, done. Not an achievement, but a task done where we kill 10 superiors. That was an 80-point task as well. It was only a matter of time, but there we are with 200 million thieving experience. I am going to world hop real quick to lock us in, but that's going to hop us in at 422 on the high scores. I'm not shocked that many people have 200 mil, but I need 400 of these enchanted crystal teleport seeds, and I've gotten a lot since we've went up to times five. I also have 15 reward caskets here for us of the hard variety, and I have this crystal imp. I'm hoping I can get an acorn. I did not, but <laughs> I got an elite scroll box, so I'll do definitely do that later. Let's go ahead and toss all of this stuff in here. I have to open the coin pouches because I'm an idiot. But I'm hoping we can finally get a full set of blessed dehyde so I can get that task out of the way. We're starting off strong. Is that a rune defender ornament kit and another master scroll box? All right. If we keep getting ble blessed dehyde like we have been in these first couple clues, we might end up completing one finally. Bucket Helm, some other stuff I already have. Ancient Bracers actually look pretty neat, not gonna lie. All right, Ceridomen Bracers, I already have those. Ooh, a Glory Trimmed. And I can actually teleport with it. Did I really get 15 anti-fire potions and not even realize we hit the rare drop table? Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. All right, Guthic's Chaps. More Blessed Dehyde. Coif. That actually might be the full Bando set. Which is super nice. Armadil. Wow. And another scroll for the Master Clue Box there. Six more to open. That is 75 hearts complete. That is an 80 point task for us. I knew we were coming up on that really soon. Bando's Chaps. Bando's traps again, back to back. I really do think that we've hit it. I'm going to have to take all this stuff over to my house because I pretty much deposited everything. Wow, we're getting a lot of boots. And then Zamorak traps. You know what? I don't even think that I need to because this is the full set right here. Oh, I, do I need the boots? I probably need the boots. Oh, no, no, no. I think I need the van braces. There we go. All right. 80 point task finally completed. That feels really nice to have that done. I'm going to store the rest of this stuff and then let's check out the collection log. Ooh, 391. We actually got a decent amount. I think right around 20. Let's go ahead and look at the hards. 93 out of 134. Okay, so now we've completed two. Which is super nice. We still don't have the red dehyde chaps. Gold? We haven't trimmed, but not gold. We've gotten a lot of masks as well. Very happy with that. Just got an 80 point task. Gauntlet Master was completed. Let's see if we can get a seed. No, we did not. We're up to three weapon siege, which is unfortunate. We're at 21 KC at the moment. Just completed two hard tasks, one speed task and 25 combat achievements. We got the Corrupt Gauntlet Speed Chaser. Let's go ahead and open this. Any luck here? Nope, absolutely not. And nothing useful in that one. In the middle of that fight, I hit 81 magic and we reached 2000 total level and that was a 200 point task for us. Where are we at on point wise? We have completed 503 tasks and we're sitting at 25,580 points. Let's go ahead and open this. See if we can actually get 
a seed. Nope, we did not, unfortunately. Oh, we are 26 KC, almost triple the drop rate for one. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the crystal armor seed, the enhanced crystal weapon, and a scroll box elite on 29 KC. I was only going to 30 tonight. Oh my gosh, this feels so, so nice. I now have unlocked the best smithing and crafting method that I have available to me. It's super, super fast, even with only one, but I will wait to do it until I get at least three for the plate body. I think it's like 67 or 76 mil an hour. I'm gonna go make the bow for right now. Well, that was an 80 point task. We crafted a piece of crystal armor. I am actually gonna go ahead and do this. I don't wanna pay any extra to enhance this uh, or turn it into the Bofa. So we're gonna go ahead and get 82 and 82. And that should be the last one we need. So let's go ahead and make our Bofa. Absolutely beautiful. And now we're gonna corrupt it. Absolutely, 100%. Let's go ahead and wield it. That's going to be a 400 point task when we wield it. Oh, so beautiful. <sighs> I'm very happy that I got this. Honestly, I was just trying to get an armor seed <laughs> so I could start this crafting and smithing grind. But the fact that we got this already is so, so, so nice. Those of you who don't know, I'll show you real quick if you've unlocked Prif and don't know about this method, you essentially revert this. And the drop on the helm alone is 40,000, 40,000. And you can menu entry swapper to just do it again. Uh, set it to revert instead of check or whatever you want. So I got Karask's assigned as a Slayer task. And I just want to talk about a few things <laughs> before I get this as our leak task. Because it is one to kill in here. Don't do what I did. I did an oopsie. It is a task to equip an enhanced weapon. And there is the task. Oh, oh, that's also a uh, that's also a combat task as well. Uh, but it was a forty-point task to defeat a Karask in Tronwyn. Yeah, but don't do what I did. It is an oopsie for <laughs> what, I, what I did. Make sure before you corrupt any enhanced weapon from Gauntlet, you wield it before because it's a two hundred point task, and I didn't realize that. I'm going for both anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal because it's another 400 point task to equip the Blade of Saldor Corrupt. So I will be going back, plus I need all the armor seeds so I can really utilize my Bofa. I also managed to get 25 million range experience last night on my laptop, and then I also, in the Necreal task, managed to get four superiors, and each one of them dropped an item. It was two Dust Staffs and two Mist Staffs. So I also equipped a combination staff for another 80 points, so that was super nice. Just got a leaf bladed sword. I'm unsure if it's a task to equip it, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. And it is, that is a 40 point task. I also think it's a 40 or 80 point task to equip the leaf bladed battle axe. So if I get that, I'll also be recording that as well. It is that time of day. My obligatory clue days is an only chest guy. I've got 30 hards and three elites here. Let's go ahead and deposit the elites. Hopefully we can get some elite or master clue chests from our relic proccing. Let's go ahead and start opening up. And that is a beautiful spot for uniques immediately. And then we'll go ahead and open this up so we can see exactly if it triggers or not. I have slotted everything into my player owned home now, so I don't have to worry about running out of bank space while I'm recording these clips. Unless I get some absolutely insane uniques. All right, so we've triggered one elite. We got our first piece of gilded. We got a gilded plate skirt. I've hit the drop table a few times now. It is nice to get that. It is a task, only an 80 point task for whatever reason, to equip an entire set of gilded. So I really don't anticipate being able to finish that this leagues at all. Okay, well, we got our second piece of gilded. The kite shield, unfortunately, does not count towards the set. So it is kind of a dead piece. But the fact that we just got two pieces of gilded is pretty nice. Can we actually get a third? I don't think so. But I don't really care that much. To be completely honest. I would like to just complete the task because it is clue related. There's our second glory trimmed. Not too bad. 
I still am continuing to do clues for collection logs. It goes all the way up to 750, and that one is a 400 point task. So just doing them honestly makes the most sense. They're so easy to do. It does not take long to do them. And I still am enjoying it, so <laughs> I'm just gonna continue doing it. Oh, that's a, I know that one's new. And plus we get master scroll boxes, and when I finally get the magic level to reanimate the head that I need to do for my other master step, that will be super nice. All right. And I know I was sitting around 397, I think. Where did I put my elite? Oh, they're all the way up there. Wow, we really filled the bank up. I was sitting around 390 something. So we have gotten a lot of collection log slots, so that's really nice. We already have the top hat, so that kind of blows that we got that. We got an infinity color kit and a royal crown. I can't really use that. But we did get another elite. We got a giant boot. That is a 200 point task. Gain 25 unique items. <laughs> we got Yuri's hat and a giant boot. We also saved. Oh, filled 10 elite clue log slots as well. We're saving these elite caskets. I really like that. Would be sick if we could pull a master. Oh, we got two. Oh, okay. We got deer stalker and musketeer pants. I really thought they went together. We got another top hat as well. Nothing interesting there. And for the last one here, we got a dragon scimitar ornament kit and a dragon chain body ornament kit. Now that is not too shabby. I do have a dragon scimitar. So let's go ahead and pull that out and slap this bad boy on here. <laughs> Did it really not pull it out? What is going on? Withdraw. All right, let's go ahead and slap this on here and wield that bad boy. Beautiful. Now I can train my combats in style while AFKing. Honestly, not too bad. All the way up to 431 collection log slots. There's another task at 500. So that's pretty nice. I have not yet done this, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the Ivan Staff. I'm going to go ahead and equip it. And that is going to be a 40 point task for us. We are sitting at almost 27,000 total points. Well, I wasn't expecting to get the complete 50 laps of a rooftop agility course at 28, but I guess this one is counting your entirety of the rooftop courses. We are closing in on a 35 million ranging experience. That is going to be a 200 point task for us. And it also was an 80 point task to kill a Necreal here in Taronwen, which I have done. And so far, I've only gotten two superiors, but the one superior dropped both a Mist and Dust Battle Staff. We are rolling up on another 200 point task. That is 99 hit points. And some of you may be wondering why I'm still using the Rune Crossbow instead of the Bofa. I actually do more DPS with this until I get the full Crystal Armor set, and I just haven't had time to actually go get it. I've been super busy today. But I am going to do some more gauntlet runs later. Here we are with the last red Chinchampa I need for 99 Hunter. Another 200 point task. I wanted to get this done pretty early so I can go ahead and go to Piro Piro and bare hand catch a lucky impling before it gets too competitive. We are finishing up 99 woodcutting. I only need one more log now and that will be 200 points and enough to put us into the adamant rank. Honestly, not too shabby. I figured slaying Abyssal Demon was going to be a task, but I didn't realize it was going to be a 200 point task. This is my Slayer assignment at the moment. I am hoping to get an Abyssal Whip. I know that is another task to equip one, and I just got here. Hey, there it is, and it only took 61 kills. I think it is like one out of 102 or something. I'm going to equip it. I know it is a task, a 200-point task. I also have to say that out of everything that I've been killing so far for Slayer tasks, Abyssal Demons are probably the best for clue drops because they drop hards and elites, and they can drop them both at the same time. I've gotten the medium ones from when I was pulling aggro still, so that's not too bad either. Oh, we just got done killing a greater Abyssal Demon. I've gotten a lot of them this task. We just got the Eternal Gem. Absolutely love to see it. I've gotten seven so far this task, and I've only killed 172 Abyssal Demons. This has been a very, very great Slayer task for me. I have 14 Elite Scrolls so far. <laughs> this is my eighth Elite 
Oh my gosh. Can we get back to back to back drops? I got a dust staff from the one before this and I outfit. We did not, unfortunately, but they do drop clues every time. So I love that. This task has just been absolutely insane. <laughs> that is my sixth whip. We've had nine superiors. I've gotten 16 elites and 15 hards. And I still have 29 left, like absolutely insane. Well, if you've taken the clue seeker relic, I can guarantee you that this might be the best spot to try and hunt for masters. Just because you get so many hards and elites that you can just easily do. And then you can get those master scroll boxes from those clue rewards. This was an absolutely insane task. <laughs> just like well over 16 mil in estimated value. Not upset with that at all. I'm going to go buy the ability to make slayer rings and I'm going to make this into a slayer ring. It is a 200 point task to equip the eternal slayer ring. So I'm going to go ahead and make that now. We're going to wear that bad boy and that is going to be a 200 point task for us. We've gotten a lot of points today. Alrighty, I've got 30 more hard clues and you may be wondering why I'm running around. We are one or two more triggers away from 99 agility and I just wanted to go ahead and get it now since I'm already recording. I could have gotten it while I was doing clues, but I did not feel like doing that. I made sure I wanted to get it on. And there we are, that is 99 agility, another 200 point task. Let's start opening up these clues. See if we can get any new uniques. Looking for some gilded. I think that's the first time we've gotten chaps. I could be wrong though. We triggered another hard casket. Oh, we got third age van braces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wildly enough, that's actually an upgrade for us. <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe we just got third age. That's actually insane. Oh my gosh. I will take it. I will take all new collection log slots. That is absolutely beautiful. I got third age, I think last Trailblazer League as well. I don't think it was, uh, I don't think it was Vams. I think it was Chaps. I think I got third age chaps. Oh, we got the uh, dual side. That's pretty neat. I know that one's new. But if we can get five separate triggers for the hard clues, we should be able to complete the 150 task. Although I don't, it's not looking good so far. I think we've only triggered. All right, so there's twice now we've triggered it. And I figured with 30, we probably should trigger it at least five times. But it doesn't look like we are. We got another master. Super nice. So we got the dual Psy again. Gotta pick all this up and bank it. Because, you know, can't leave anything around. It looks like I just need to trigger it one more time. So hopefully we can. Be wild if we got like another piece of gilded or third age though from these clues. Yeah, I just need to trigger it one more time. Getting a lot of ranger stuff this go around. We have two clues left. Please tell me we'll trigger it one more time. We did not. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm one away. I do know that the Robin Hood hat is new though. I don't think there's a task associated with it. There is not, but we are all the way up to 448 uniques. So we did get some more. Let's go ahead and look at the hard clues because we are getting there. We're at 124 out of 134. So we're missing rune plate skirt, G, Guthix plate skirt, Bandos kite shield, literally every rune H plate body, Zimrak dehyde shield, Bandos dehyde shield, that is it. That is actually kind of wild. We're almost done the collection log for hard clues. I did not think that would be something I would be saying this leaks at all. <laughs> I finally decided I was going to grind out the dragon spear over here at Brutal Black Dragons. They do have two separate chances to drop it. One from their actual drop table and then one from the random drop table as well. Plus, I do need a hundred javelins. That is a task to fletch them, so I might as well. And they drop 
Dragon Dart tips, and when I get Blowpipe, that's going to be absolutely nuts. I have a good amount of Dragon Dart tips in the bank already from Implings, so the more I get, the more I will have in the future. Oh my gosh. You guys don't know it, but I spend the better part of an afternoon getting a Dragon Spear from Brutal Black Dragons for an Elite Clue Step. But here's what we also managed to snag. I got a Draconic Visage <laughs> before that. Here's the spear. Beautiful. This is going to be worth uh, 400 points when I smith it and then wear it. And I did not equip the Dragon Plate Lady set for the 80 point task, so we'll go ahead and do that. I don't think it's the, yeah, it's just Dragon Plate Legs or Plate Skirt, so that's super nice. I'm really glad to have this out of the way. We also got 36 more Elites, 32 Hards, a lot of Dragon Bones, and loads of Dragon Javelin Heads, which is super nice because I need those for a task. I have a lot of Dragon Dart Tips now, which will be super nice for Blowpipe, and I have a lot more Dragon Arrow Tips for when I get the Twisted Bow. Alrighty, I am finally done. I have completed 20 elite caskets. I went ahead and toggled the mimic. We might get interrupted by that, but let's go ahead and start opening these bad boys. Alright, we got a musketeer hat. I think that is a new item. We were at 450, so yeah, it is. We got the musketeer tabard. And it looks like we have a mimic. Beautiful. Uh, I think I can keep opening these. Oh, no, I can't. All right. Well, I'm going to go kill this, and then we will continue. Hey, it was actually a task to kill a Mimic. I think in total it is five. I think is what it is. Uh, I guess I'm done. I've never really done the Mimic before, so I think I can just open this, and it will give us a reward now. Alrighty, there we go. And we got a bonus elite casket. I'm going to teleport back. I have my crystal memories just in case we get this again, which I'm sure we will. Let's go ahead and keep opening these. All right. Nothing <laughs> exciting there at all. But we did get the bonus elite, so it was like a free roll. We will, with these caskets, get all the way up to 25 at the minimum. And I know that is a task. Let's keep opening these bad boys. All right, so we got a Royal Gown Bottom. I think that's actually the entire set now. Man, we are really rolling. There's another Dragon Scimitar Ornament Kit. We got a Hasidious Scarf, and that is 25 Elite Scrolls completed. That is an 80-point task. There really are a lot of points associated with Clues over 70... Over, yeah, 7,500. So we got a Dragon King. That's nice. That's a new unique. Loop half. I don't need those. I need the tooth halves. Man, even though it's leagues, I still say elites feel very underwhelming. I think it's because hards really have a lot to offer on their table. We got another infinity set recolor. We got a royal scepter. Wow, I don't think I've like really ever seen that in the game before. Don't really see a lot of people with that, but we are getting a lot of bonus caskets with elites, so that's pretty nice. I'm not going to complain about that. What do we just get here? Build 25 elite clue log slots as a 200 point task with the royal crown, and we also got sag sagacious spectacles. That's pretty funny. Dragon legs skirt ornament kit. We did just get some of those, so that's pretty nice. We're getting a lot of Master Scrolls, and I'm really looking forward to that. The next thing that I'm going to do is get 90 Magic so I can complete this Master Step, and then I am going to start working on completing some of those. I did get the Fremenic Kilt there. Uh, nothing too exciting in that one. We got Light Tuxedo Shoes. I think that's our first piece of Tuxedo. And I think we might be closing in on 500 uniques. We got another new scarf, so that's pretty nice. Tooth half is actually the half that I need. All right, dragon chain body ornament kit, and we will deposit and open this last one here. And it's a mimic. All right, I'm gonna go kill this real quick and then I will open it. All right, that was super fast, 16 <laughs> seconds. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, it would be bad to try and open it here. Okay, so I do have to actually leave to open it. Alrighty. 
Uh, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and see how many collection log slots we added. 30 in total. Let's go ahead and check out the Elite. See how that's coming along. 20, 29 out of 59, actually. Not too shabby. I do have about 36 left in the bank to do at the moment. I got a lot from trying to get the Dragon Spear, so I'm pretty happy about that. Hey, we do have full Royal, and I want to say it does not look too shabby. We also have full Musketeer as well. That looks pretty neat. There's no task associated with equipping any of these, unfortunately, because I know there are a lot with some hard and medium tasks. It is that time of day again. We are back with 30 more hard clues. I know this first one I'm going to open is going to give us a 150 completion. That is 80 points. I'm actually kind of shocked it's that little, but that is all right. Also, my rank before doing this was 151 for hard clues. So I am really up there, to be completely honest with you. It's kind of wild. I didn't expect to be that high up, and we have already saved two. We are getting a lot of uniques. We started at 470. We haven't gotten any new ones yet. I need to remember to show that before I start opening all these in the future. That is the first time we're getting a room plate body heraldic, so I know that is a new unique slot for us. That is nice. I am running out of room in the bank again. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to start purging some of the stuff I've got in here. Because I don't know. And we're at 809. We should hopefully be alright. I could be completely wrong though. We might not be alright. Who knows. We pretty much just got like a full set. Oh, we are not alright. We did get an elite casket though. All right, I'm going to cut real quick, and I'm going to just dump some of this trash out of here. Alrighty, the bank has been purged. Let us continue the beautiful clue opening grind here. I really am wanting to complete the Gilded set. For whatever reason, it's only an 80-point task, but I would love to complete it. Wow, that was a lot of uniques in that last one. <laughs> filling back up on the bank oh my gosh five more hards here Robin Hood hat I know that we have gotten that before the last hard and then we have elite and I did manage to complete two masters so let's go ahead and open the elite first it is a mimic I'm gonna go ahead and kill that and then we will open these masters Alrighty, we are done with the Mimic, and I just checked my rank for hard clue scrolls. I've completed 184, and I'm ranked 46 in leagues. That's actually insane. I'll post a screenshot up right now, and we will go ahead and open this Mimic. We got Holy Wraps and Sagacious Spectacles again. I know at least the Holy Wraps, I think, is new, and we triggered and have another Elite here. We got the Dark Trousers. I know those are new. Let's go ahead and open the Master Casket here. We got Samurai Greaves. I don't think we had that before. And then... Ugh. No, I'll just open it here. We got a Hood of Darkness. So, gained 10 unique items from Master Clues. That was an 80-point task. That's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. We also got Phil 5 Master Clue Collection Log Slots for 80 points as well. Through all those clues, we only managed to gather 9 more uniques. For the hards, I wasn't really expecting to get that many more. We are at 128 out of 134. We are just missing 4 Heraldic Plate Bodies, 2 Shields. That's it. So we're doing pretty well there. As far as shared treasure trail rewards, we're just missing one page now. Would love to see this turn green relatively soon. And then for hard rare, we've just gotten three. Uh, elite is the same pull plus the boots. We've gotten that and then master is the same. But we'll go ahead and look at the elite. We have 31 out of 59. We did just get the holy wraps. We did just get the dark trousers. So that's nice. And then for the master treasure trail, we did get the Hood of Darkness and the Samurai Greaves, so everything we've gotten that's been a unique from here has not been a duplicate yet, which is pretty nice. 
I finally got a cave kraken task. It only took till 94 Slayer. I wasn't really canceling tasks at all. I am very excited for this. I cannot wait to get Trident. The Cave Kraken boss is probably my favorite boss in RuneScape. Just because I love the pet. And I 100% will be there this leagues until I get that pet. I want that pet so bad. I didn't get it the previous leagues. And I've spent like over 8,000 KC there between all the leagues. I, I'm going to get this pet this league for sure. It is a task to kill a Cave Kraken that is 80 points, and we will be back once I get the Trident drop. Well, that did not take too long to get. Only took us 11 KC, and we are going to 100% charge this bad boy. Oh, I need Chaos Runes as well. All right, well, I'm going to come back. I'm going to deposit the Mystic because I forgot it's just better to wield Dragon Hide here. And then we're heading into the big boy room. Oh, I am so excited. Here we are charging the staff. We're gonna do the full 2,500 and it is a task to wield it. It is an 80 point task. Oh, I'm so excited. I absolutely love the Cave Kraken boss. Here comes our first Kraken kill. I believe it is a task to kill this bad boy. It is, that is an 80 point task. I'll be picking up everything. We're not gonna have to leave it all until we are completely done with this. <laughs> well, the third KC, we get a Kraken Tentacle, which we will 100% be using. I think it is a task to equip one with a whip, and we've got six of them from the one task that we managed to do. So that'll be a nice task that we can complete once I'm out of here. There is a, another Kraken Tentacle, KC49. Killing 50 Kraken bosses is a task. I think it is a 80 point task. I could be wrong, though. It is an 80 point task. Very beautiful. I think it's also a task to kill 150 and 300 of them, which I 100% will get this league. It is time for 25 elite casks. I'm sure I'll have to stop somewhere through here because we will get some mimics. Oh, we got a ranger's tunic. I know that is a new unique. We were at 480 when we started, so let's continue here. Alrighty. These should be enough to get us the 75. Two of the same Shazy and Scarf. Very interesting. Holy Wraps, again, a Ranger's Tunic. And there's our first Mimic. I will go kill this and we'll be right back. And we are back with the fourth Mimic kill. Oh my god. <laughs> we got a third age ring. That is my second piece of third age. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's look like a pickaxe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let's continue opening the elite caskets here. See if we can get any other piece of third age. I think the bronze mask is also a unique. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. This is that's gonna be hilarious. I can't wait to use that. That's pretty neat. Nothing there. Oh, nothing there, but we did get a bonus casket. I think the Piscorelia scarf is actually a unique that we did not have before. Uh Black Dehyde Traps G. I think I need the top still. Which is unfortunate. I did not get that. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a monocle. We got the top. Look at that. Ooh. Not too shabby. All right. Let's continue opening. Royal Scepter. All right. I was hoping to at least maybe like trigger to get a master clue once. We got a katana. Oh, we did. As soon as I was saying trigger a master clue once, we got one. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful. Dark tuxedo shoes. I don't think we had those before. I think we had the light ones. So that should be a new unique for us. These last five potentially here. Looks like we got a bonus. That is beautiful. And there is 75 elite clue scrolls completed for 80 points. I think it does go all the way up to 150. Which I, of course, will be doing. Let's go ahead and open up these last two here. That is a Shazian Scarf. I think we already had one of those. Nothing in that. What about the Master? 
We got an Ale of the Gods and a Robe of Darkness and a Tormented Ornament Kit. Oh my lord. That is pretty nice. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> pretty good, not gonna lie. Let's see how many we got. All the way up to 498. I know 500 is a task. Oh, we are so close. Let's look at our elites here. 44 out of 59. Wow, we are closing in on completing this log as well. And for Master, we're at 9 out of 49. So we still have a lot of stuff that we can obtain from here. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, clues have so many task points associated with them, it's kind of unreal. I did not even realize I got a Gilded Hosta. How did I not realize that? <laughs> that is my fourth piece of gilded. What what clue did that come from? Was that from an elite? It had to have been, right? Yeah. I don't know if it sh it couldn't have been a master. I would have noticed it. Maybe it was. I don't know. I don't think that it was. It was from an elite. I'm pretty sure. That <laughs> that's actually kind of nutty. After a little bit of AFK over its sand crabs, I finally got high enough attack to equip. He tends to equip, so we're going to go ahead and combine this, and that is going to be a task to equip this, and that is a 200 point task. We are sitting at 30,500 points. <laughs> well, I just got a 200 point task, 500 collection log slots, we got the jar of dirt, and I know it is a task to put it in the house, so we will be doing that right after this. There we are with an 80 point task, killing the Kraken 150 times, and then there is a 200 point task for killing it 300 times. I'm sure the next time we get a Kraken task, we will complete that. Should be getting a good amount of combat tasks completed. We got the Speed Chaser, Defense Doesn't Matter, and Ignole Diet. Very nice. Let's go ahead and open this. That was just a regular gauntlet. I will now be returning to Corrupt Gauntlet. And there is another combat task completed worth six points. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, no armor scene. That is what I'm looking for from here. Now, I'm going to try and grind out 50 KC total today. On KC48, we just completed a hard task. 100 combat achievements. We have the perfect corrupted Hunliff. Honestly, I've just been trying to do these as fast as possible. I still only have... Okay, now we have two armor seeds. I was about to just freak out. At 48 KC, we finally get our second. My brother is already done at 56 KC, like has his enhanced, has all the full armor seeds, and I was sitting here at 47 and I just had the one. So it feels good to get that second. And there we are with a 50 corrupt gauntlet kills. That is a 200 point task. Let's go ahead and open this. And I told myself I would be done no matter what. After 50 KC today, that's 20 total. I want to go do something relaxing and it's cold where I'm at. So my hands are not as nimble today. I wasn't really planning on doing any clues today, but I just couldn't help myself. We've got some easies and then some elites and masters in the bank. We're just going to start slapping these out. Before we actually get into it though, we are at 500 spots in our collection logs. Let's see how many unique items that we can actually snag. And I have no idea if any of these are new to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I just have no idea. I'm hoping I don't fill my bank all the way up with all of these. I'm sure I probably will though, which will be unfortunate. I really have run out of, <laughs> I've run out of space entirely. And I've cleared this bank so many times. So far we're not getting anything like too, too interesting, but you don't really get anything that interesting from EZs anyway. They're just pretty quick. I have a lot of collection slots left with EZs, so I'll be very interested to see how many we actually slam out here. I've already got all the tasks associated with easies except for completing 150, which I definitely plan on doing. Plus, I think it is 400 for the emote, which I plan on doing as well. Easies are pretty easy to get for people who took the Trickster Relic, because you can just go spam ham members. I've literally not done that yet. I've just been gathering them from fishing and woodcutting. Yeah, we are dangerously close, but I think we should be alright. Wow, that was two heraldic play bodies, and as we've seen from 
hard clues. Those tend to be pretty, pretty rare. I didn't even realize I, I guess I triggered a medium casket from this, so let's go ahead and open that. All right, and then we can start opening up the elite caskets, see if we can get any uniques from there. I don't know if we'll trigger a mimic. To be honest, I don't really care if we trigger a mimic. I'd rather just keep all of this one consecutive clip. There's ranger gloves. I know those are new. I think the iron mask is new as well. We also got a master casket, so we'll have six to open instead of five. Oh. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go kill the mimic, and then we'll finish these off. I think it actually is going to be a task for me to kill this, so I think this is the fifth one. We're going to see. It was. All right. There's only two tasks to kill mimics, and it's one KC and five KC, so from here on out, I'm just going to be doing them for that extra roll. Let's go ahead and open this. That was the mimic one. We got musketeer pants and an afro. I think we already had that. All right. We can teleport back over to the bank now. We just have the six masters left to go. We'll open one on our way over. Oh, we got the reverse obsidian cape. I wonder if that counts as wearing an obsidian cape. It does not. I honestly wasn't sure. I know they're different, but I was not sure if that would count or not. And we also got a torture ornament kit. All right, our bank is full, but I think I think we should be all right here. Wait, a master can be a mimic? I had no idea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we are back again with our master mimic this time. We got an old demon mask and an occult ornament kit. The occult ornament kit looks so much different. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's open up another one. We got a fancy tiara and a bull wig. I know we already had the bull wig. We got an old demon mask again. And then we've gained 25 unique items from master clues for 200 points absolutely beautiful i did go ahead and bank some stuff while i was killing the mimic all right we got another mimic <laughs> i'll be right back hopefully that is the last interruption we will have as we only have this one left to open in the master casket let's go ahead and open the mimic master we got the ale of gods which i already had before in the last one here we got it oh my god <laughs> We got a third age axe. Look at the value of that. 2.1 bill. Oh my god. There is no way I just got that. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> that is insane. No way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. This is why I do clues, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and look at the collection lock slots. We got all the way up to 32 total. The last task is 750, but let's check out the rare drop that we just got. We're 100% complete on the shared treasure items. That's awesome. Third Age Axe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, and we can only get that from Masters. We can't get it from anywhere else. Oh my gosh. That's actually nutted. That's so, so, so good. My brother told me to use the spec to see if it counts as a Dragon Axe. I don't think that it will. No, it does not. I think it specifically has to be from the Dragon Axe, unfortunately. But it is like having a Dragon Axe. That's awesome. Hey, there we are. I figured since we had so much good luck getting the Dragon Axe, I'd come to Gauntlet until I got another Armor Seed. We got it at 55 KC. I don't have quite enough shards for the 50 million method, but I am just going to go ahead and at least get 99 in both because there are some tasks I want to do for smithing. I know you guys have seen this method before, but honestly, it is so uh, much better with a crystal body. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> We're really close. I'm definitely going to be getting this tonight, so I'm going to be getting a lot of tasks knocked out. Now that is another 200 a point a task down. We just reached 2100 at total level. We are really closing in on maxing. 
we are uh, not too far off to be completely honest all right this one right here is gonna get us a 99 crafting and for those of you that are wondering this is about 62 million experience per hour 99 crafting is another 200 point task i'm gonna finish up a 99 smithing here as well before i go off and do some smithing tasks and here we are with 99 smithing as well i've got a lot of stuff banked that i can do for some points we are all the way up to almost 32,000, not too shabby. Alrighty, I know it is a task to make a rune bar, so we'll be going ahead and doing that. I think it's an 80 point task, it is. And I also know it is a task to make an onyx amulet. We're going to go ahead and do that. That is a 200 point task. I am going to enchant it to make my fury, and I think it's a task to equip one. It is not, but that's fine. It is also a task to smith any rune item. I'm just going to make some throwing knives because I'm sure I'll use those later. That is an 80 point task. And then I am going to attach this Draconic Visage to the Anti-Fire Dragon Shield. That is a 200 point task. I don't think it's anything to equip it. Oh, it is. It's another 200 point task. That's right, because getting that was 400 points. Kind of wild. We just got over a thousand points in like five minutes. <laughs> I'm sitting at 32,700 now. I have another 200 point task that I'm going to knock out real quick. We are finishing up a 200 point task craft 100 light orbs. There it is. Kind of shocked that it is a 200 point task. It's pretty easy to do, not going to lie, but I guess it's just for having a high crafting level. And then while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and get 99 prayer. <laughs> They have also removed the maximum number of experience you can gain per day at Soul Wars, so that's really nice. It's going to make getting 50 mil in my melee stats and magic super, super fast now. It's another 200 point task done, and we are all the way up to 33,100 points. Just finished up 90 rune crafting here. <laughs> it's absolutely busted with the banker's note. You can just hotkey your inventory like this. Let me show you guys real quick. And then you just like press a whole bunch and it's just absolutely insane experience i'm sure you can hear my keys clicking but it's it's nuts it is over nine million like i said an hour <laughs> it's pretty dumb uh, it's gonna be quicker once i remember to bring my rune pouch i forgot this time because you can store three runes in it so you'll be withdrawing three extra essence which does add up over time it is time to open up 30 spoils of war. I've opened up a lot of these so far for all the pure essence, but I haven't recorded really any of them. So I'm hoping if I record it, I can get the pet. <laughs> but I don't, I don't actually think that's going to happen, but I figured I'd just record them anyway. I would be, all right, there's some pure essence that I need. Tooth half, don't think I need. Oh, I do need, those are the ones that I need. Open up another 10 here. Another tooth half. <laughs> Cabbage and bones. That kind of sucks. Alright, we did not get the pet, unfortunately. But we did get a good amount of pure essence. Just finished up an 80 point task to craft 30 blue dehyde bodies. I have a couple other things that we're going to keep rolling with the clip here. I got some dragon scales that I needed. I think it's just a knife for this. And then we have the redwood shield that I can make the black dragon hide one let's get some black dragon hide out and then I got my rune nails and then I think it just needs a hammer so let's go ahead and get one of those out all right let's go ahead and scrape this that is another task temple das that took so long to get it was one in 33 but it took me it was like over 130 kills I think and then there is craft a black dehyde shield for 80 points. I'll be knocking out two separate tasks with this one. This will be 99 fletching and fletch 100 dragon javelins, both worth 200 points. We're sitting right under 34,000 and I think I can get that done today. Also, just a fun fact here. You don't need the Taurus trap to fletch the darts. You just need Taurus trap to make the dart tips. So if you didn't pick desert and you have some dragon dart tips and you have the fletching level, you can totally make them. I'm doing it right now. This is gonna be a nice 200 a point task. We finally got 90 herbal ore. 
Making a Super Combat Potion is 200 points. It also is a task to make 100 Divine Super Combat Potions. I don't quite have 97 Herbalord for that right now, but I definitely will be doing that, and I'm just going to make all of these at the moment. Well, I was honestly expecting to be here a lot longer, but uh, we already got the Slowly Step Cap Mushroom, so that's nice. It's like easy 40-point task, and I also... Dismantle 20 birdhouses for another 40 points. Hey, we got it at 629 on my first ever tier one run. I'm feeling super, super good with Corrupt Gauntlet now. It was a 200 point task for the combat achievements, a medium tier. I love that. Oh, I can now claim my rewards from the Sage and Lumbridge. I really thought I had to have Gommel unlocked. And I was like, well, I can't get these done. But that is 70 KC. I've went ahead and done about 20 today, so I'm going to take another break from Gauntlet and do something else. Just got done spending some Soul Wars Zeal. That puts us all the way up to 120 combat, which is a 200 point task. To be honest, I should have enough, but just in case I don't, I'm going to do a separate clip for it. We are going to knock three 99s out here all at once. I definitely have a lot of zeal left, and that is going to be 600 points total. 200 for each of those 99s. I'm not too concerned about defense, but I guess we can just go ahead and see. I will just go ahead and do it. To be honest, I think we actually do have enough, so this isn't going to take too long here to get, to get another. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely have enough. And that should be 99 defense. <laughs> we also hit 2,200 total, which is a 200 point task. And we hit 126 combat, which is a 200 point task. <laughs> so I went from getting no points today to over a thousand. Super nice. So I was doing Soul Wars pretty much all evening. I will be chilling here for a bit, but I am going to buy some of these spoils let's go ahead and buy 20 i'm gonna open these up i just want to see if i can get the pet i am gonna be coming back here for 50 mil but it honestly is so fast i'm not even worried about it so let's see if we can get the pet well did not with those 10 but what about these 10 I've opened up so many spoils of war, to be completely honest with you. Honestly, kind of shocked that we haven't gotten it. I, let me check Rune Light here. I think I've opened over 250. Um, I don't have quite enough Pure Essence yet, so I am going to have to buy some more boxes. Well, I was trying to prep some clips <laughs> so that I could show you guys some of the elite tasks we were doing, but... I somehow ended up getting 99 Herbal Ore without realizing it, and then there was a task to make 100 Divine Super Combat Potions, and it triggered after I made 50. Not really sure why, but we got some of those tasks done. I got 40 Giant Keys, and I got 40 Moss Keys as well. I'm going to go through those, I'm going to get all the combat tasks done, and we're going to see if we can't get that unique drop for each one of those. Oh uh, well, that did not take too long. We got the Hill Giant Club already. Very nice. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Let's go ahead and equip it. And that is a nice 80 point task. And I've already got all the combat achievements done for this as well. So these other 35 keys that I got plus the one I just got from here. Oh, well, it didn't take that long, to be honest. I'm going to head over to Bryophyta now. Oh, well, not what I wanted to be spooned on after getting all of these keys. <laughs> but we've done it. I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. And we're going to wield it, and that is going to be an OED point task for us again. I also just got done completing all of the tasks here. It Bryophyta other than 5kc, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and finish that up. Just completed another combat task at Hespori for 50 combat achievements total. That was an 80 point task for us. I feel like this should be the last combat task for us here at Hespori. That has to be... Yep, there we go. Hespori seed... Trialist. Sp speed. Oh my god, not seed. <laughs> oh, oh, I scuffed that clip so bad. Oh my god. I believe this Hydra will hit us with the 25 million hit points goal. 
for a whopping 200 league points uh, there it is and while i'm recording the clip i just want to say like through this league so far i have met a lot of people that have been watching my series and you guys are absolutely awesome i love when you guys pm me so if you've watched and you haven't just feel free to. I definitely enjoy chatting, and my private chat is always on. Oh, we are finally done at KC81. That is the sixth armor seed. I'm going to head over to the bank. We've got our full crystal, and it's going to be some points for equipping that. Coming in with 25 million crafting experience, that is 200 points. I'm just going to go ahead and do this method all the way to 50 before I make all of my armor pieces, but it feels really good to have this done. And here we are getting at 25 million smithing experience as well. All right, this is gonna be 35 million in crafting experience. We're gonna be getting a lot of points today just from some stuff that I have saved up, including this. And this is gonna be 35 million smithing experience. I think I'll have enough crystal shards but while I'm here, if I don't, I am just gonna dismantle my bow so that I can get the points for equipping a regular enhanced weapon and then I will turn it into a Saldor and then revert it back and turn it back into a Bofa. And there we are with 50 million crafting experience. Smithing will not be too far behind. I do not have enough crystal shards so I'm going to have to go thieving a little bit more, but that will be all right. It won't take too long. And there we are with 50 million smithing experience. Let's actually go ahead and wear this as I've not completed that task. That is 80. I'm going to go ahead and revert this. We're going to make the helm and we're going to make the legs here. Absolutely beautiful. We now have full crystal armor. I don't want to dismantle it. <laughs> I forgot I had the had it used. Let's go ahead and reset it and wear that. And equipping a full set is another 200 points. Man, we really gained a lot today. Over 1,500 points gained. We're at 38,120. I'm going to go thieves some more crystals so I can get another 600 points done. Alrighty, I went ahead and reverted it back. Let's go ahead and make a blade. Let's go ahead and wield it for a 200 point task. I don't want to forget to do that this time. And then we will unequip it, and it's also a 400 point task to make it into corrupt. Let's go. Oh, for whatever reason, I really thought it was 2000 for the <laughs> corrupt blade of Sador as well, but it is not. And then we're just going to revert it back. And I will have my bow. Absolutely beautiful. It's another 600 points done. And we're going to corrupt this one more time. And we are good to go. I do need to make it black again, though. This will be the last herbivore we need to catch for the final task here. That is going to be 150. Another 200 point task completed. We are right under 39,000 total points. Alrighty, we got a lot of combat tasks done there. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five combat tasks done for Jed. It is a 200 point task to equip the fire cape, so we'll go ahead and do that. We've also completed five speed tasks. That is a 80 point task. And we are right at 39,280 points. That's a, a lot of uh a lot of things that we did there. I'm gonna have to see if there are any more time trials for this. This was pretty fast, not gonna lie. But I also have some other things that I can do for some quick points as well. There we are with another 200 point task. Pickpocket a diamond from the Tezhar. And then I'm gonna come over here. I'm not melee. I don't really need this cape. I'm gonna sacrifice it and that's gonna be another 200 point task. I think I can just use it on him. All right. Go ahead and sacrifice it. Yes. And that is another 200 point task down. Alrighty, it is time to get some tasks done. Let's go ahead and buy some of this stuff here. I know it is a task to equip 
a full set of obsidian for 80 points. We're going to sell it back. It is a task to equip an obby cape. It is a task to equip an obby maul. And then we're going to sell all this back. And it's a task to equip this and this. Another 80 point task for both of them. And then the last task we have here is this one for another 80 point task. And that puts us right over 40,000 points. The best like day I didn't really do that much, but today, man, I have really went all out. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of points today. I'm feeling very, very good about it. Here we are finishing up another 200 point test. This is going to be 50 million fire making experience. Had the teaks in the bank already. Figured, you know what? Might as well knock this out as well since I'm on such a roll with our points. I don't think I will, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll get 42,000 today, but you never know. And this will be my 300th cracking kill of this leagues, which will be a nice 200 point task that we have completed. There's no other tasks here cracking. I've done all the combat achievements for it, but I'm going to continue doing these as a slayer task, mainly just because I like them and I really want the pet. Alrighty, I've got some clues to be opening before we get started. Let's take a look at the collection log slot 541. And if you guys haven't yet, and I'm sure you have by now, uh, Dragex made some changes to some of the tasks that were not able to be complete. All you have to do is click on the area button and it will auto complete some of the combat tasks or impossible. It completed five for me. I did not get any points yet because I haven't really done anything associated with those yet. But let's go ahead and get started opening these bad boys and see how many collection log slots that we can actually obtain. Hopefully a good amount. I went ahead and cleared out my bank because it was almost full again. As you can see here, well, I'm probably going to have to do it again, but I really am just hoping to get a lot of collection log slots. We are getting a lot of items, which is super nice to see. We did get a master cast or master scroll already. All right, the gold chef's hat. I don't think I had that before, so that is a nice item to get. And there's the task for completing 150 easy clue scrolls. I knew we were going to get that. I do want to get the emote for this as well, so we will be continuing to complete these as the league progresses. I've slowed down a bunch on doing some clues, mainly because I have been doing a bunch of combat stuff now that I have full crystal and my bofa. Alright, there we have the Cape of Skulls, okay. That's not too shabby, I know we did not have that, so we definitely have gotten some... Yes, give me the PK skull. Not that it matters. So that's nice to get. Alright, we have 15 left of these, and then we have 10 mediums to complete as well. Or to open, not complete. Already completed them. And our relic is actually, actually triggering a good amount. One more here. Alright. Yeah, bank is almost full. Oh my gosh. It's like every time I open up stuff, I have to I have to go ahead and just re-empty the bank. Oh, and the mediums are all the way up here. Now we should have enough room for these, hopefully. Let's see if we can get some new uniques. Wow, we uh, triggered the triggered the clue relic a lot there. We definitely are not gonna have enough room. I don't think for all these items, but I'll just continue opening. More manacles. Yeah. You know what? We might. It's just three more. Easy. Okay, yeah, we definitely had enough room. How many do we get? Oh, all the way up to 566. All right, we were at 541, so definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and take a look. See where we're at on the easies. 115 out of 131. Very nice. We have all the heraldic plate bodies. We don't have any sets of the Monk G yet. <laughs> That's kind of shocking. Almost have every elegant piece. No amulet or magic trim. Missing one bob shirt. 
and some other sporadic items. Four mediums, we're at 97 out of 115, still no wizard boots. Missing two heraldic plate bodies. Still missing a boater and some other sporadic stuff as well. Just completed a 200 point task, defeating 50 superior slayer creatures. Honestly, I had no idea I was that close or I totally would have caught this clip earlier. This has been an absolutely insane task. <laughs> well, I think we had like 92 to kill. We got five leaf plated swords and a leaf plated battle axe. And that is kind of insane. We just got done my first Hydra kill ever. I've <laughs> never done it before. It's not chess content. So honestly, not too shabby. Oh, it respawns. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Just got a combat achievement, I guess, for these two. We got 200 combat achievement points, and that was a 200-point task. Time for 20 elite casket openings. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and actually take a look. 5 is 68 for the collection log here. And, of course, the second one is a mimic, so I will be right back. And we are back. Let's go ahead and open this a mimic casket. We did end up getting a unique, but... I think we already have that one. We get an extra elite casket there. A bunch of uniques. To be honest, there actually aren't a lot of uniques on the elite table, so... I'm kind of shocked that they don't add more, to be completely honest. I feel like they have one of the lowest uh, <laughs> two trimmed ornament kits. That's pretty funny. But yeah, I feel like they have one of the lowest unique uh, tables out of clues, so... I think this is new. I could be incorrect, but I think it is. We did get a Master Casket. Maybe we can get one more Master Casket to trigger. We got a Ranger's Tunic. I think that is new. I could be wrong. I think the Briefcase is new. Ranger's Tights. Well, one of the Ranger's items are new. We might have just finished Ranger's, to be completely honest with you, because I think we already had the gloves. The Big Pirate Hat, I think, is new as well, so that's pretty nice. I think we already had the katana. Well, if we didn't finish Rangers, we just did because we just got the gloves in that one. <laughs> wow, that's pretty nutty. Not gonna lie. All right, steel dragon mask. Nothing exciting there. Nothing exciting there. And then let's go ahead and open the one master that we managed to snag here. We got a dragon defender ornament kit. Not too shabby, although I can't actually use that. So, we did get a few collection log slots, nothing too exciting. We're at 51 out of 59, so we're missing a Fury Ornament Kit and a few other things. So yeah, we did get the hot, we got the briefcase, we got the steel mask, and we finished Rangers. So, that is pretty nice. We're pretty close to completing Elite. Pretty happy about that. Uh, for Masters, we're still at 6 of 45, and... Oh, that's just the rare. Oops. Oh, we're at 16 of 49 for Masters. Just chilling in the middle of inventorying a collection I just got for games, and that is 25 million cooking experience for 200 points. I don't think I'll get 42,000 today to hit that rune tier, but it'll definitely happen by the end of this weekend. Hey, <laughs> I wasn't recording this clip because we got the Hydra Leather. I was recording this clip because we got uh, 99 Slayer. I think the Hydra Leather is useless for us, though. I think that's for the Barrows Gloves, but I'm unsure, so I'll have to check later. Now that my inventory is completely full and I got the 15 without leaving, we are pretty much done with all the tasks here. I just have the Kill X, so 75 and 150, which will totally happen over this league, but we've got all of them done so far, which is super nice. Hey, it only took 75 kills, not too bad. The rate is one of 60, but we just got our first Zenite Shard. Hey, we got our second Zenite Shard at KC97. I really just wanted to get two, but I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. I've got some downtime. I'm gonna try and get as many as I can. Hey, we just got a Ballista Spring, and not too shabby. I think it is rarer than the Zenite. I'll check. Yeah, it's a 1 in 500 before the drop, but that's fine because it is a task to equip all the items, the ballistas, once you make them. Hey, there's our third Zenite. I only need one more. Not too bad. I think at total, yeah, we're at 134 KC so far. There's a task down for 150 KC at Demonic Gorillas. I think it goes up to 300. It might go higher, though. 
Hey, there we go. That is our last Zenite shard that we needed. It took us 201 KC. Not too shabby. Of course, I will have to return here to get all the other tasks done associated with Demonic Gorillas, but it did not take too long. I just got done selling a lot of Chaos Runes. <laughs> I did not feel like getting the Onyxes through Zora at the moment. I just want to get these done, so I'm going to go ahead and buy... All my onyxes, we're gonna go make these into uncut zenites, and we're gonna make every jewelry and complete a bunch of tasks. On the off chance that it wants you to equip zenite jewelry, not the enchanted version, I'm just gonna wear all of this. So equip some zenite jewelry for 200 points. Let's go ahead and wear all of this and equip all zenite jewelry. And that pushes us over the top for the rune tier. We're over 42,000 points. I'm going to enchant the rest of this stuff. We're getting some best in slot equipment here. I have loads of recoils that I have worked on. So this is going to feel super, super nice. The Necklace of Anguish for range, of course. The Ring of Suffering. And the Tormented Bracelet for magic whenever I need to use that over at Kraken. Uh, here I am finishing up a 99 rune crafting for another 200 point task. I have all the essence I need in order to hit 50 million, which I definitely plan on doing. This is about 11 mil an hour, so it's only another four ish hours to get that done. But we are at 2,232 total level. I have three skills left mining, fishing, and construction. You know, this might seem like an odd thing to be using these lamps on, but to be honest, mining is like my lowest skill. That is a base 80s. That is a 200 point task. I'm going to continue to put these all, all on mining. It's kind of wild, but uh, I am not going to enjoy doing that's this skill this league. So all these lamps are going on it. I already have 99 herb lore. Farming relic makes it super easy to get the herbs, so I'm not too concerned about that. Alrighty, we are going to be working on buying the Ash Covered Tome. This is a super, super simple. So you pay, you come all the way down here on the eastern side. Make sure you have your prayers to protect from range down here. You really don't need anything else other than a pick because we're not going to be spending too long. You pick up this first boulder here. You use your heatproof vessel to make three platforms. You come across over here. You come north again, use it twice to make two more. Oop, wrong way. Each game takes like a minute. It's like so fast. You come over here, you check this event. Once you've checked it, you come over here. You start using this again. Should be two more. We check this event. And then we come right back over to where we picked up this boulder. We pick up another one. We're already at 109 points, but everything is insanely higher. Because this is a minigame, we mine this a volcanic chamber. We place another boulder here. We mine it again. We place another rock here. We mine it one more time. And then by the time that's done, we take a third large rock. We go ahead and place it, and we mine it again. And once that's gone, we can turn our prayer off. We run right back up the stairs, and we exit. And this does count as completing a task. Uh, if you've not been here before, you will complete the medium task volcanic mine. We come right up here, 24,000 mining experience, and this is only the second game I've done. And I'm at 6,536, so we're looking at roughly 3,200 points per two minutes. It's super fast. Buying the Ash Cover Tome is a 200-point task, so this won't take too long. While that did not take too long, this should be the last game here I need for the Ash Cover Tome. Let's go ahead and trade and purchase. And that is a 200 point task. I will return here. Honestly, I'm probably just going to do this for mining experience. It doesn't matter whether you're really doing solo or actually completing the whole game. This is just super fast. And it's faster than mining iron. So I'm probably just going to do this till 85 and then get that runite ore fragment from here as well for another 200 points. 
All right, I'm over here at Zalcano. Now, I've never done this before, but I looked at what we got. It looks pretty simple, not gonna lie. I've realized I'm doing a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of new content that I've never done before. Because a lot of this stuff is not chest related. So I'm going to hop, find a world that isn't being used, and I'm going to start soloing. Just did a Zora KC, and that was a hard task, but we've completed 10 speed tasks now. That was a 200 point task, and then I'm pretty sure defeating Zora was just an 80 point task. So pretty nice. I did do some Zolcano. Solo is absolutely awful. I will never do that in my entire life ever again. In the mass worlds, I just there's so many people I don't think I'll actually realistically be able to do enough damage to get the unique drop chance, so I'm gonna wait until I've got a couple buddies so we can four or five minute. I absolutely would get the uncut onyx is my first drop. I absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate it. Oh, it has finally happened, and it only took until almost double the drop rate. <laughs> got a drop finally, that is the serpentine visage. To be honest, I might just switch over to the RCB with Diamond E Bolt so I don't have to carry any more anti poison. I think that might be the play. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure it is a task to equip this, so let's go ahead and do that. That is a 200 point task, not too shabby. I'm gonna try out the RCB and we're gonna test to see if the DPS is negligible. To be honest, I don't really think it is. They were hitting around the same anyway, it's just a higher accuracy with the Bofa. Man, I did not just get a do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no. <sighs> That's alright. It is a task to dismantle this for 200 scale. So at least it's 200 points. But I really would like the blowpipe and the magic fang. Alrighty, we're rolling up on one of the last kills I'm going to be doing for the evening. It's 150. That should be all the tasks completed for Zolra. Combat achievements. Yep, that is 200 points there, and it's also an elite task to kill it 150 times as well. And that is another 200 point task. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked I've only gotten three items. I think there's like one in 25.5 chance to get an item at all, so the fact that we've only hit the drop table three times is a little rough, but I think this goes all the way up to 300 KC, so. I'm just going to keep chugging along later tomorrow. I feel like I'm just getting trolled. <laughs> I have been at Zora since I've started. <laughs> and the kills are fast, but oh my gosh, a third visage? I've hit this drop table four times. <laughs> and I've hit an Onyx and this is the third visage. That's pretty funny. Alright, I'm just going to dismantle it. I don't need another one. Hey, there we go. KC163. I totally lied, by the way. I did not go to bed. <laughs> I'm still up, still going strong. That is the Tanzanite Fang, which means I only need the Magic Fang. And of course, I still need to get all the way up to 300 KC. Let's see if I can grind this out tonight. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of wild. It's late, it's like 3 a.m. I'm in the zone right now. I also grinded Demonic Gorillas all day, so my brain's a little fried, not gonna lie. Do y'all know random events can follow you in here? Because I didn't. I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that right at the beginning, but I spawned the evil Bob random and he came in here with me to Zora. What an absolute mad lad evil Bob is. This literally was the same kill that evil Bob came in. We got an uncut onyx, so we did hit the drop table again, but I already have it. I already have all my Zenite jewelry done, so we are just looking for that magic fang. Oops. I did not realize that crafting it was the task. I thought wielding it was the task. It is not. Alright, Blowpipe needs to be charged with Zola Scales and loaded with darts. I did that. Let's go ahead and load it with Dragon Darts, because I know it. that is a task. And equipping it is not a task. But we have Dragon Dart Blowpipe, and that's pretty sick with the Range Relic, I'm not gonna lie. I literally just woke up, logged in, first kill, Magic Fang, love to see it. We are done here for the moment. Mod Ash must have been watching over me. He knew how late I stayed up last night, <laughs> and I shouldn't have stayed up that late last night. Let's go turn this bad boy into a trident of the swamp. Alrighty, let's go ahead and slap this bad boy onto here. That is the Toxic Trident. Boom, craft a Toxic Trident. I don't uh, think it matters if we wield it, so... I'm not gonna try to wield it. Or, I don't... What am I saying? Looks pretty nice. Very beautiful. 
I'm going to be working on some diary tasks today. We're going to be finishing up the Lumbridge Elite Diary. We just need to smith a adamant play body down here and boom, that is going to give us a 200 point task. And of course, you know, mining is absolutely horrible for me. So I am just going to spend this beautiful lamp on mining. I already have 99 herbal or I don't really plan on going for 50 mil. So there's no real reason to put it on that. Let's go ahead and slap that bad boy on mining. 80,000 experience. That feels so good. <laughs> that literally saves me almost an hour. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going to get some other diaries out of the way today. And there we are with the hardy... The hardy. Oh my gosh. There we are with the arty hard diary. And I'm working on the elite now. Alrighty, there we go. That is the elite arty diary done. Another 200 point task completing a soul's bane is a task but i also need it for the varrock diary wow it's a 40 point task I had no idea so now i'm gonna knock out the varrock diary tasks there we are with the varrock medium diary complete time to complete the hard and elite and there we are with the varrock hard diary completed this took a little bit to get but it wasn't too bad i'm gonna go now complete the elite diary there we are done with the elite diary as well i'm gonna go get my beautiful lamps and those bad boys are going right into mining and that is the medium diary completed at karamja i am almost done with all the other ones though and that is the last task for the hard Karamja Diary. I need to go make 56 nature runes, and then I will be done with the elite one as well. Alrighty, this will be the elite diary completed for another 200 points. Not too shabby today. I've really been racking it up. Where are we at? We are at 46,195. Jumping across this bad boy is a hard task, I believe. 80 points. Let's see. Yes, it is an 80 point task. Uh, I don't know what other diary I am going to do today. Maybe I'll be done. To be honest, doing four felt pretty nice. So maybe I'll do some other stuff today. There we are with the easy Western province diary completed. I've set myself up so that I pretty much can just do all of these back to back to back. I feel like the Eagle transportation system is probably very underutilized. It's so it takes so far to to really get to it but that is the medium western province diary done this is the elite western province diary done and now i just need to go mine some addy ore and that will be the hard diary done as well once we mine this addy that will be the hard diary done and to be honest that should get me over 95 mining which i am very much looking forward to it is a task to mine 50 Addy Ore here, so I am just going to do that while I'm here. Alrighty, time to equip some of these hats. I have no idea which ones are tasks. I know I've already equipped the ones earlier. I guess this was the last one we did, equip a Dragon Archer Chombi hat. That is the last one I needed to do. I'm going to drop the rest of these because I really don't need them. And while we were Chompy hunting, we actually ended up getting the Chompy Chick. This did honestly not take long at all. It is included in the X5 for the mini game points so if you haven't done this and you have the candor and area unlocked i would highly suggest doing it make sure you get the diary done first though and that puts us over forty-seven thousand points Alrighty, we are finishing up the beautiful path of the glow free quest here i don't think i have enough room for all the lamps <laughs> Yeah, that's an 80 point task. Uh, I need to talk to him again to get all these lamps. And then we also got the Warp Scepter. Uh, I think I need to charge it. Oh my gosh, what is that? I just want the lamps, my dude. Ah, that was him talking to me. Okay, cool. I'm gonna charge this and that's gonna be another 80 point task to equip. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and equip this bad boy. That is 80 points and to be honest since this isn't chess related i didn't even know this item existed but it is nice to know that there is a mid-tier staff for iron men outside of trident and ibans oh there it is we finally got a piece of kc82 that feels nice to get i doubt we will finish it this task though well i got the alchemical hydra heads which would be super cool if i could make a slayer helm 
but I can't. But it is a collection lock slot, so I will take it. Oh, there we are with the Hydra Tail. All right. It's starting to pick up towards the end of this task. Not bad, not bad. We just hit 35 million hit points experience. I will show it once I don't have to switch pairs anymore. There we are. 35 million hit points experience. Beautiful for 200 points. Well, you guys know how I feel about the Dragon Knives and the fact that we got 717 of them. Makes me very happy. Although we already have Blowpipe with Dragon Darts, so I'm not sure these are much better than that. If at all. Perfect time to segue into this clip. I just got Cave Kraken and I had Smoke Devils before that. We got the Occult Necklace. I have not yet equipped it. Let's go ahead and do that for a 200 point task. While we were at it, I also ended up completing, I think, 300 points worth of combat tasks. I'm not entirely sure how to actually check that. Yes, I did. So I'm two points away from the next tier. And I also got 25 million defense experience. That puts us over 48,000 points. I feel like I've gotten like 3,000 points today. It's kind of wild. Hey, oh my gosh. Oh, we got the pet Kraken, yes! Oh, this is literally what I wanted. That was also a 200 point tie. I literally just woke up. Man, the past two days, like I woke up yesterday, got the Fang from Zoro that I needed. Woke up today, did one kill, and we got the- Oh, we got the Kraken pet! It's what I wanted! Oh my gosh, yes! I love this little guy. Oh, he- Oh! Yes. Whoever wrote the dialogue for this is- choice like they got those dad jokes right right on par oh my i can't believe that oh i'm so excited i can't tell you where are we at where are we at point wise all right well i'm gonna break forty nine thousand today there's no doubt about that hey this is gonna be a pretty nice task we are completing here reach a base 90s that is a 200 point task i don't think i have enough to get to 95 construction but we are slowly working our way there Hey, here we go. That will be a base 95s for a 400 point task. And I do believe, oh, we're so close. We're 80 points away. I'm definitely not getting 99. I'll, I don't have enough uh, planks for that, but we're at 2,265 total level. Very good. Alrighty, dissecting 50 sacred eels is a 200 point test, so we should be getting that sometime soon. This is the inventory for it. There it is. I definitely don't need any Zora scales, I'll tell you that. I've gotten a lot from that boss. Here we are with another easy 200 points, that is a 35 million cooking experience. We are well over the 49,000 point threshold. I'm going to be very excited once we hit over 50,000 points. Well, I am officially completely done at Kraken. We've got the 10 Kraken tentacles here. I'm just going to unnote them because I'm pretty sure that I have to. Let's go ahead and talk about tridents. Let's go ahead and give them to her and then I we can hand her a trident. And there we are. Wow, that was a 400 point task. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use the magic thing on it. Oh, I need to uncharge it. Use the fang. I need a chisel. Oh, this clip is scuffed. Yeah, I think some of these tasks are messed up. This one procced it 100, and it says mine 200 or in Tronwen. Uh, that is 200 points, which gets us right over 50,000, but I think some of these tasks are mislabeled, I'm not gonna lie. This is the second time this has happened where it's been exactly half of what it said it's supposed to be. Getting ourselves a nice 200 point task, ability spirit tree and a fairy ring. Not too shabby. And we are getting ourselves another 200 point task. We're gonna be using the jar of dirt. Not too bad. Good amount of points today. Very happy. We've got some fat tasks we're going to slap out. And you know what? I knew that I should have recorded myself opening that crystal chest before I did it. But I know that I wouldn't have actually gotten this if I would have ran downstairs to do it. So let's go ahead and light this bullseye lantern. That is a 40 point task. The only way I can get that is from Thermi. That was a nightmare. It took forever. It also is a task to check and on a grown crystal tree. It is a task to wield a crystal halberd. 
for 80 points. And then it is also a 200 point task to equip any piece of the Dragonstone armor set. So that is pretty nice. I'm just going to leave this here because I don't actually need it. And we are all the way up to almost 51,000. Well, I managed to get a Dark Beast task for the first time. We got our Death Talisman, so we're able to enter here. We're going to be making 50 Death Runes for a 40 point task. I did get 25 million Slayer experience for 200 points. I also killed a Dark Beast for 80 points and I completed 50 Slayer tasks for 80 points. It is a 200 point task to equip the Crystal Grail. I had no idea it has the same animation as the Ale of the Gods. That's interesting. And then it is an 80 point task to equip a Dark Bow. So we are almost at 52,000. <laughs> I was super, super, super busy today, so the fact that I got 1,500 points is really, really nice. It'll probably be the last clip for today, though. Coming in with another 200-point task, we just obtained 35 million defense experience. We are closing in on 50 million hit points experience as well. Finishing up a Hydra kill here. This will be our 150th kill. We're going to get some points for this bad boy. We're going to be getting some tasks completed. We got another Hydra Tail. I really didn't need that. A hard task, an elite task, and a master task. All right. Let's go ahead and see there. So we got the Alchemical Hydra Combat Achievements. We got the Combat Achievements Hard tier. We were only two away, so I knew we were going to get that. Absolutely beautiful. Where are we at point-wise now? Let me check real quick. Where, oh my gosh, that was almost a thousand points. Absolutely beautiful. Oh boy, it only took 188 kills, but I finally got the heart, the third piece for the ring. It's supposed to be like 1 in 30 something <laughs> to get these. So the fact that it took 188 is a little unlucky, but that's all right. I'm going to work on combining these. It is a task. Let's go ahead and slap this on mining because... I do not enjoy that skill in leaks. And let's go ahead and withdraw the last two parts we need here. And we can combine everything together. Proceed with the combination. And equipping that is an 80 point task. I really thought it was going to be a 200. I don't know why I thought that. But that is a, a super good ring for us. Just got a 40 point task, 100 superior slayer encounters. Still have not gotten that imbued heart though, but hopefully we can snag it relatively soon. Oh my god, the imbued heart is <laughs> so much money. I had no idea. Wow. 87 mil, let's go ahead and activate that for a 200 point task. Woo, alright. Well, uh, that's all the drops from superiors, so that is pretty nice. I know I can get the abyssal dagger from the abyssal demon superior, so I'm gonna continue to kill those. And they're just really awesome Slayer experience, so no reason not to kill any more superiors. I'm just going to keep killing them. That should be 50 million hit points experience. And let's got another greater, uh, greater Abyssal team. And this task has been absolutely insane. We've gotten three whips so far, four Brimstone Keys. I think it's like my seventh superior stuff, 58 left. Abyssal Demons, that's the one place where my luck is just outpacing everywhere else. It's kind of wild. <laughs> this task right here is going to get us to 53,000 points in leagues. I am 3,000 points away from that beautiful Dragon tier. And to be honest, I am not sweating it at all. I 100% know I'm going to get it. Say another task will be knocking out, making a mahogany portal for another 40 points. Hey, there we go. We finally got the dragon harpoon. I did not have that yet. That is going to be nice for some beautiful AFK fishing. And it is another collection log slot, so I'd love to see that. Well, I spent some true time AFKing shamans. I got all the way up to 1500 KC. And I was at 1300 KC without a Warhammer. And then the last 200, we got two. It is a 200 point task to equip one. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We are sitting at almost 54,000. I will 100% get that today. That's not going to be an issue. 
We are finishing 50 million cooking experience. Absolutely beautiful. I am in the Star Miners CC because I am incredibly busy and the only way for me to really train mining at the moment is to mine some stars. So shout out to that CC. There we are with a 99 fishing as well. Absolutely beautiful. As we close in on 99 mining, I just gotta say, I am so thankful for stars because I've been so incredibly, incredibly busy in real life. And this is what I've been able to do with that time. That, cooking, and fishing. So that's why these are the last three clips. That is 99 mining. That is another 200 point task. I will 100% be maxing today. I do have some free time. So I'm going to get that out of the way. And that's going to be a lot of points for us. Alrighty, absolutely beautiful. This is the last level we need to max. That is 99 construction in a max total level for a fat 600 points. We are sitting at almost a thousand points away from Dragon Tier. I cannot wait. And this should be a 40 point task to equal. Oh, it's an 80 point task. Not a 40 point task, which makes it so that we are under a thousand. Now I do have a lot of solars left to do. We're sitting at 600 points here, 600 points here. We got another 200 here, uh, another 600 points here and another 600 points here. So I'm definitely in the driver's seat for hitting dragon tier. Oh, wow. That is, <laughs> I never expected to see that. I'm going to post a screenshot of it, but. When I maxed, I world hopped, and like before I maxed, I think I was like six or seven K overall total. And when I hopped and maxed, I'm now ranked 913. I'm gonna be honest, like the past couple of days, probably the past four or five days, I really haven't been able to do much because work has just been so hectic. So the fact that I'm still top 1K is actually insane for total level. That's kind of wild. I am sitting at uh, 4,732 for the league point rank. All right, it has been a while since I've recorded a clip for leagues, but I will be getting Dragon Tier in this clip. Let's go ahead and spend a hundred. I have a lot of zeal left. Let's go ahead and do this. Do defense. No, not defense. Uh, we got to do strength. Let's go ahead and do prayer. Just want to make sure I don't uh, overspend here. I did the math and I definitely have almost exactly enough, so that's fine. 25 million magic experience. Are we at 25 million prayer experience? We are not. Let's go ahead and do that. That should get us 25 million experience we are 200 points away let's go ahead and just put it into attack for right now and you know what we're gonna recap on this leagues i genuinely had so much fun this leagues it's probably the most fun i've had and i'm unsure if that's because i was making a series out of this leagues or not but I genuinely had so much fun. And there we are. We have officially hit a dragon tier rank. <laughs> Love to see it. I'm going to spend the rest of my points here since I have them. I might as well just try and get some other, uh, some more points as well. We're pretty close for defense. I won't be playing anymore after this. I'm incredibly swamped at work. For those of you who don't know, I'm in the healthcare field, so it is like in the busiest time of year for that. Let's go ahead and redeem 30. That's probably close. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I'm just incredibly swamped with work, so will not be playing anymore after this. But I had loads of fun. Let me know what you all thought of this league's. It's sad that it is only once per year, but I understand why we didn't quite get there. But we are in Dragons here. Let's go to Lumbridge and get that cup. 
I don't know if I need cash or anything, but I'm going to head on over there. And it is nice that we're above 56,000. We didn't just hit it and then stop. I think I actually have to get it in the regular game. I don't think I can actually get it here. Oh, boy. Wow. Apparently there is a bug for leagues where it can hold a bunch of points in limbo for you. I was trying to claim my Dragon Tier trophy, and I couldn't. It was only showing up as a rune. <laughs> But if you uh, have surpassed 56,000 points, apparently you have to complete another task and then check your tier ranking. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And then you have to actually log out and not world hop. And then you should be good to go when you go to claim your trophy. Absolutely beautiful. We've finally done it. I completed an easy task of resurrecting my crops. It was another 40 point task. I hadn't done that, so. That is beautiful. Let me check what uh, our final ranking here is. We actually achieved over 1 billion experience. We're at rank 1300 total. Or rank 3926 for elite points. So honestly, not too bad. It's definitely the highest I've ever been ranked. Oh, that feels really nice. So I'm very, very happy with that. I absolutely love this league. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any ideas as to what next leaks potentially could offer, let me know. All right, all you beautiful people, that wraps it up for Trailblazer Reloaded. I, just thinking back on it, honestly, it's probably the most fun I've had during leagues. It's the first time I've hit Dragon Tier, and I do 100% attribute that to the fact that I made a series this year on it. I had loads and loads of fun. I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do. The boys and I did not get to do any raids. We were incredibly, incredibly busy towards the back half of leagues. But all of us were able to hit Dragon Tier, so that was super nice. I completed 722 tasks. I got 56,280 points. And I'm very excited that uh, Leagues was here this year, because it wasn't last year, and I'm hoping that they don't skip another year, because I really do genuinely enjoy this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you managed to make it all the way to the end of this series, thank you so, so, so much. Truly appreciate your support. I do just want to give a special shout out to my channel members, Tom and Father Duo. Thank you all so much for going above and beyond. For the rest of you, Thank you all so much. I hope you genuinely enjoyed Leagues as much as I did. And I cannot wait until the next one.